Are you ready? Squirt. Squirt, squirt. Squirt, 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 squirt. Let's get it going. Boop, 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 boop. You're okay, Mr. Turtle. Nothing can hurt you. <laughs> hey, guys. I don't ever stream on YouTube, but we're about to have a... We're about to have a little stream here! Turn the music on. Get that ambiance going. Oh, my God! There's so many people already! <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Jacob. Thanks for joining. Thanks for becoming a member, my guy. <laughs> Oh no. Mr. Jeeves is upset at something. I got Turtle here though. Mr. Squirt. My boy. I got my boy with me. We're going to talk about, uh, if you couldn't tell by the title. What? Don't get angry. Don't get angry. We're going to talk about Mr. Kyle Rittenhouse today. I don't have anything lined up for this. I'm just going to, I just kind of want to share my day with you guys. Like what's been happening uh, in the meme sphere, in the donut sphere with, with the Kyle Rittenhouse case. Cause it's been, it's been amazing. I am getting so many fucking death threats. <laughs> it's awesome. Hey, thanks for 20 bucks grant. Thank you for the five bucks. Five, five, oh my God. Oh Lord. You guys just paid for my Thai food tonight. I appreciate the shit out of every single one of you. Uh, Blake, thank you for the five bucks. Swig, thank you for the five bucks. Cal's free. Fuck yeah. Uh, not guilty. Grant, thank you for the 20 bucks. Uh, five bucks from Retro. Thank you for 20 bucks from Red. Jesus Christ, guys. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to go back tonight and watch a video that I made over a year ago. Over a year ago. Um, the video that I made on Kyle Rittenhouse. Because I haven't watched it in a year. And I'm kind of interested to see what I had to say back then. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I like, like I said, I haven't watched it in a year. No. Oh, Squirt left me. Hold on. Where's he going? Pet cam. Squirt, where'd you go? Where'd you go, Squirt? Where'd you go? Please put slow mode on. I don't even know how to do that. Oh, Jeeves. Chill, buddy. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, what? Well, hold on. My nephew is... <laughs> One second. Yes, sir. Hey, buddy, you me out. I'm streaming. I locked you out? Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. My bad. Hold on. I'll come let you in real quick. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I locked my nephew out of the house. One second. He's in the garage working out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be back in like five seconds. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like my nephew out of the house. <sighs> okay. Ah, hey guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, one of the big. Oh my God! Thank you for the donation. Jesus Christ! You didn't have to do that. <laughs> you guys are fucking awesome though. Thanks for the hundred bucks, Miriam. Jesus, Lord have mercy. Desert. Thanks for ten bucks. I'm out of shape as fuck. <laughs> Victor, thanks for the twenty. Gosh, dang it. What are these animals doing? Uh, you guys know I don't... I haven't been streaming very much lately, and to stream on YouTube is really rare for me. I've only done it three times this year. Oh, fuck, I gotta work out more. <laughs> it's coming from someone who spent most of their life on the other side of the law. love and respect what you do. Dude, Michael, thank you so much, man. I shoot my own right bicep before I send you a death threat, Donut. Thank you. <laughs> we had some bi <laughs> some spicy some spicy biceps going on during the whole Kyle Rittenhouse thing. And again, like I said a little bit earlier, is one of the biggest things I want to do is um, watch my video from a year ago with you guys because I don't remember it. I haven't seen it since I made it, and this was back when things were a little you know the spiciest they were. There's I'm saying spicy a lot now because this is a spicy day. We're gonna look at some memes. We're gonna hang out. I'm gonna yell at my dogs and cats and shit. <laughs> so if you guys just want to hang out with me today, um, first off, first off, 
that verdict was a big win for the Second uh, Amendment community and for self-defense in general. That was fucking awesome. I love everything that happened today. <laughs> pet cam. Boom. Well, that's not my pet, uh, by the way. This is my nephew. <laughs> Zay. As you can tell, we're related by blood. By blood. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you, you, you guys want to... You guys want to watch this video with me real quick and then we'll talk about it and we can discuss the case and we can go look at some memes um i could lock him out of my house again if you guys want that if, if you, <laughs> you could it. see dog ass look <laughs> dog ass right there <laughs> did you know i'm a racist For real? <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> anyways all right I want to watch my video from a year ago. Uh, let's jump onto it, and and we'll 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 check that out because I just want to see how factual my video was over a year ago before the case even started when I only had raw footage to work off of. Does he do squats? He looks. He does. He yeah. He does squats. He's a very 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 fit young man. <laughs> also, I'm racist. Don't tell. Don't don't tell him. Don't. Tell him. Uh, what'd you say? What'd you <laughs> nothing, say? nothing, okay. nothing, say nothing, nothing. This is, is your, is your, is your handle on Instagram still coconut? Yes. This is coconut operator on Instagram, by the way, because he's white on the inside and a little brown on the outside. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Welcome to volume two. Just wanted to say, hey, I'm going to really hop in a hot tub. Hi. Right. Right, I'll see you in a bit, dude. <laughs> now. Last night, about an hour after I released Volume 1 of The Adventures of Kyle Rittenhouse, August 28th, the video was taken down by YouTube. This is one of my most watched videos ever, 7.4 million views. And as, as I keep saying, uh, I haven't watched it in over a year. Donut and coconut. <laughs> I, know, I know the volume's super low. Hold on, let me see if I can do anything to turn it up. I think I fucked this video up and I accidentally put it way too low. So just, you're going to have to turn your volume up, man. I'm sorry. Look, I got it volume max right here. I got it maxed out on my streaming software. Hold on. Let me, I think I can turn up a little bit more. It was just cruising there along there at about 120,000 views after an hour and YouTube found it to be ineligible and removed it altogether from my channel. I appealed it, tweeted YouTube and was like, Hey, what the heck, man? And then they put it up like 10 minutes later behind two age restrictions. I'm glad it's up. They just kind of killed it there for a little bit. But don't worry, if you come to my stream tonight, I'm not going to be raging about YouTube. We're going to talk about the criminal complaint that was filed against Kyle Rittenhouse today. And we're also going to correct some of the things that I said yesterday because I will always admit when I am wrong. I will never double down on bullshit <laughs> like a lot of people you see on Twitter. First up, I have no idea why I said Jacob Blake died. I guess I've been watching way too much CNN. He's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me catch this super chat real quick. Let me catch this super chat. Full beard. Thank you for the twenty dollars donation. Are Evan and the other heads of BRCC, BRCC going to apologize to Kyle and all of his supporters now that the verdict verdict has come out not guilty? I don't know where all that. I, I, you know, you know how the, the news media has been spinning up this case and like saying a bunch of shit that people are believing. If you look at the other side, I think that a lot of people are doing that with BRCC because they never once condemned like Black Rifle Coffee Company never once condemned Kyle. They just said they didn't want to be. They did. They, all they said was they don't sponsor him and they just don't want to be a part of that. Here, look, 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 look. You want me to call the CEO right now? Here, hold on, hold on. No, because I'm because they're fucking good friends of mine. They're good people. One second. Evan Haver, CEO of Black Rival Coffee Company. What's up, dude? Hey, buddy, what you doing? Oh, I am. Well, kind of feeding the dog, basically. Okay, I'm. I'm. I'm my wife is. <laughs> I'm streaming right now. Nice. And someone said something about BRCC. Is are people going to apologize to Kyle? And I was talking right. to you earlier about that. And what what did you tell me about it earlier? Well, I think that the statement still stands that we had a year ago, which was we said the justice the justice system would prevail, and that you have every right to defend yourself in America. And from the videos that I saw, it looked like he had every right to defend himself. So okay. 
I don't know how controversial that is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it still stands today. Yeah, he had every right to defend himself. And you said that you said that on a podcast a year ago, right? Oh, I said it on Andy Stump's podcast, on Dan Loesch's show, on our podcast. Like, I don't know how many times I've said this in a year. Uh, anything else out there is literally false. Uh, what we said was we didn't sponsor him because that's just fact that we hadn't sponsored him. And people took that as some other statement. And I, I have no idea how they could actually uh, mis, misconstrue that statement as we didn't support him. Uh, I've seen that video. I saw your breakdown on it yeah, right after the incident. Yeah, and, we're, we're watching it on stream right now. Right. So I, the videos that came out, I think, proved uh, exactly what the court decided, which was he was innocent. So uh, I think any anything else out there that is being pushed around the internet is literally just false information. Uh, I don't know where people are getting this. I don't know why they're continuing to spin up this narrative uh, because it doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Okay. Like I carry, I carry, I carry a Sig 365 every day. I mean, I contribute to the Gun Owners of America every month. I, I've been a 2A guy forever, and it wouldn't make any sense for me to not believe in the Second Amendment and the right to defend yourself. It's completely crazy. It, it's, uh, it's, it's a fucking idiot narrative to say anything otherwise. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for taking my call uh, ran randomly. <laughs> hey, dude, I appreciate it, man. All right, man. I'll, I'll talk right, to you see later. You, see you, brother. Hey, hey. Okay, so Evan's my friend, and like he doesn't disagree with anything that anyone is saying. But I don't know. He's a good friend of mine. So, oh, he's lying. You you know him personally, then, right? Stupid motherfucker. Um, they supported our right to defend ourselves. Said the the there there it is. There it is. He's a good friend of mine. I've never fucking lied to you guys. Like Jesus Christ, um, I love you guys. Can we watch? Let's let's wa <laughs> let's watch my video because I haven't watched it in a year, and I kind of want to see. As I said earlier, like what the fuck? Like, I'm not I, I'm not stroking my own cock here. I just kind of want to see the stuff that I said before any before all the news channels picked up on it. He's actually still a unsubbed. Oh, you like the unsub podcast? Awesome, man. Live, and he still has an active warrant against him for sexually assaulting someone, and they're thinking that he is going to be paralyzed from the waist down. The latest thing I've seen about him is police officers did have him handcuffed to the bed because he still has an active warrant for doing something really bad. Now check out what was filed yesterday. This is the state of Wisconsin criminal complaint against Kyle Rittenhouse. He has been charged with six counts. First degree reckless homicide. What the fuck does Black Rifle have to apologize about? <laughs> See, uh, oh God, man. I can't even post a vlog like hanging out with my friends without people being like, Black Rifle Coffee Cup Company. They're good friends of mine. They do so fucking much for the veteran community. Ugh. First degree recklessly endangering safety, attempt first degree intentional homicide, first degree recklessly endangering safety, and possession of a dangerous weapon by a person under 18. Let's go over these a little bit and I'm going to explain some things to you that I've learned since my video last night. The first count, which is first degree reckless homicide, states that Kyle did recklessly cause the death of Joseph Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum was the first guy that Kyle shot in the video last night. This is the guy that threw something at him, ran at him, lunged at him, and then ended up getting shot. There's been a screenshot circulating the internet of the Wisconsin Department of Corrections showing that he was a registered sex offender and I couldn't find it last <laughs> night. There's a reason for that. It's been taken down because he died, but the Arizona Department of Corrections still has it up. Joseph D. Rosenbaum. In 2002, he was convicted of two counts of sexual conduct with a minor, and in 2014, <laughs> he was convicted of interfering with a monitoring device. During his time in prison, he committed a little bit over 40 violations. I also said last night he took a bullet to the head and that's what killed him. He did take a grazing wound to the head, but it was other shots that killed him. According to Dr. Kelly of the Milwaukee Medical Examiner's Office, he had a gunshot wound to the right groin, which fractured his pelvis, a gunshot wound in the back, which perforated his right lung and liver, a gunshot wound in the left hand, a superficial gunshot wound to his lateral left thigh, and a grazed gunshot wound to the right side of his forehead. When he shoots Rosenbaum, if you'll remember last night, he ran around the back of the car and then he pulls his cell phone out and I said, well, maybe he's calling 911 because someone said call 911. 
he actually didn't call 911. According to reports, a detective spoke with a Dominic Black on August 26. Dominic stated that he received a call from his friend Kyle Rittenhouse at 11.46 p.m. in which the defendant stated that he shot someone. I think my amazing mod team also found out what started the confrontation between Rosenbaum and Kyle in the first place. Twitter user Drew Hernandez tweeted a good Samaritan put out a trash can fire that rioters were about to push into police squad cars. Rioters were then triggered by it and went after the gas station in retaliation. From what I understand, the person with the fire extinguisher was Kyle. Uh, yeah, this will be up on YouTube. I'm, li I'm leaving this stream up so you guys can come back, watch it, shit on me more about my friends. It'll be cool. It'll be cool. <laughs> But uh, if, if you're just jumping in, I made this video in August of last year. Is that Spike Spiegel? Oh yeah, of course that's Spike Spiegel. This is Spike Spiegel too, right here. My, new, my, my newest piece. It's hard to tell if that's Kyle in that video, but in another live stream from Facebook, you can clearly see Kyle run by the camera at the same gas station holding a fire extinguisher. Because the fire was put out, it caused this little confrontation we're about to watch. Drew Hernandez also tweeted out, here's more footage from the Kenosha last night when Kyle Rittenhouse shot rioters. Rioters were very stupidly attempting to challenge militias on rifles at a gas station before the mob left to the dealership. You can clearly see Mr. Rosenbaum leading a pack of lemmings. Oh, this is one where he says the N-word. I think I'm... Yeah, yeah, this is it. I think I blocked that part out. Was I at Zydax or Brandon Herrera yesterday? Bomb was yeah. because he's the one pushing and trying to fight people armed with rifles. So that spills over into the dealership, and that's when Rosenbaum starts chasing Kyle. What? Second thing he's trying oh, to do oh, is... Oh, God, I accidentally left a bad edit in there. <laughs> Jesus. Starts chasing Kyle. I thought it, I thought there was about to be a joke. I just left a fucking bad edit in there on a, my one of my highest watched Second videos. Second thing charged with first degree years. recklessly endangering safety. This one says he recklessly he was saying endangered ninja. the safety of Richard McGinnis, who we haven't talked about yet. The third one is first degree intentional homicide. This is when he shot <laughs> Anthony Huber, which is the skateboarder. The fourth one is attempted first degree intentional homicide. This was against Gage Grosskreutz. Yesterday I talked about, it, I didn't know if he had his gun on him before or after he it's got not shot. Lazy. It you looks like things. he ran up to Kyle with his gun. Kyle pointed a gun at him and then Gage put his hands up with his gun in his hand. There was some hesitation. It looked like Gage lunged for him and that's when Kyle shot him and blew his bicep off. There's a lot of people on the internet. Oh, we talked about this a year ago. Saying, well, Kyle was defending himself. The dude had a gun and he was getting his ass kicked by an angry crowd. In these two pictures right here, you can see that he did have his gun out and in his hand when he ran up to Kyle. The fifth count was first degree recklessly endangering safety. This one says they recklessly endanger the safety of an unknown male. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it was probably the guy that jumped on him, he shot at and missed who ran off. And the sixth charge that we talked about possession of a dangerous weapon by a person under 18 because he was 17. Here's the person we were talking about earlier, which is Richard McGinnis. He was behind Rosenbaum when Rosenbaum was running at Kyle. McGinnis stated that Kyle moved from the middle of Sheridan Road to the sidewalk and that's when he saw Rosenbaum initially tried to engage the defendant. McGinnis stated that as the defendant was walking, Rosenbaum was trying to get closer to the defendant. When Rosenbaum advanced, the defendant did a juke move and started- Sorry, I'm laughing because I'm sitting here reading chat. Hermit, you are really upset about a, a coffee company right now to be spamming every, I think I have 20 second delay on where you can only go 20 seconds. Using your every 20 seconds to talk about that. You ever thought about like not being so angry? You ever thought about that? started running. McGinnis stated there were other people that were moving very quickly. McGinnis stated that they were moving towards the defendant. McGinnis said that according to what he saw, the defendant was trying to evade these individuals. So what McGinnis, our new character to the story, is telling us is that there was a crowd going after Kyle with Rosenbaum in the lead. <laughs> McGinnis described the point where the defendant had reached the car. McGinnis described that the defendant had the gun in a low ready position, meaning that he had the gun raised and pointed downward. The butt of the gun would have been at the angle downwards from the shoulder. McGinnis stated that the defendant brought the gun up. McGinnis stated that he stepped back and he thinks the defendant fired three rounds in rapid succession. McGinnis said when the first round went off, he thought it hit the pavement. McGinnis felt something on his leg and his first thought was wondering whether he had gotten shot. 
McGinnis was behind and slightly to the right of Rosenbaum in the line of fire when the defendant shot. So since he was in the line of fire, that's where that recklessly endangering charge comes so from. Kyle. McGinnis stated that the first round went into the ground and then the second shot went off. The defendant actually had the gun aimed at Rosenbaum. McGinnis stated he did not hear the two exchange any words. McGinnis stated that the unarmed guy, Rosenbaum, was trying to get the defendant's gun. McGinnis demonstrated by extending both of his hands in a quick grabbing motion and did that as a visual on how Rosenbaum tried to reach for the defendant's gun. Detective Caprice indicated that he asked McGinnis if Rosenbaum had his hands on the gun when the defendant shot. McGinnis said that he definitely made a motion that he was trying to grab the barrel of the gun. McGinnis stated that right as they came together, the defendant fired. The third a year ago, fucking year ago. <laughs> video that your complainant reviewed showed the defendant running northbound on Sheridan Road after he shot Rosenbaum. A group of several people began running northbound on Sheridan Road behind the defendant. A person can be heard yelling what sounds like, beat him up. Your complainant reviewed a fourth video that showed a different angle of the defendant running northbound. In this video, a person can be heard yelling, get him, get the dude. The defendant continues to run northbound. On the video, a male can be heard saying something to the effect of, what did he do? Another male can be heard responding something to the effect of, just shot someone. Then a male can be heard yelling, get his ass. The defendant then trips and falls to the ground. We saw all that in last night's video. Kyle's trying to get away from the angry crowd chasing him. That's when he falls on the ground and the next two shootings take place. The second person who was later identified as Anthony Huber approached the defendant who was still on the ground on his back. Huber had a skateboard in his right hand. When Huber reaches the defendant, it appears that he is reaching for the defendant's gun with his left hand as the skateboard makes contact with the defendant's left shoulder. Huber appears to be trying to pull the gun away from the defendant. The defendant rolls towards his hey, side, and 20 bucks, Huber bud. appears to be trying to grab the gun. The gun is pointed at Huber's body. The defendant then fires one round, which can be heard on the video. Huber staggers away, taking several steps, then collapses to the ground. The medical examiner later stated that he was shot directly in the heart. That's why he only got a few steps and then fell over. When the defendant shot Huber, Grosskreutz freezes and ducks and takes a step back. Grosskreutz puts his hands in the air. Grosskreutz then moves toward the defendant who aims his gun at Grosskreutz and shoots him, firing one shot. Grosskreutz was shot in the right arm. Grosskreutz appears to be holding a handgun in his right hand when he is shot. There's the criminal complaint filed against Kyle. I'm really intrigued to see what happens during this trial. I'll definitely keep up with it and post updates. The internet is pretty divided on this one. You got half of the people saying, well, he was just Yo, defending slow mode himself actually is on. violent rioters. And you got another half saying, well, no, that was basically a mass shooting. He just killed two people and wounded another. But hey, that's why we're here. So we can have a calm, rational discussion about this in the comments below. I'll be streaming over at twitch.tv slash donut operator as soon as this video is released. I hope to see you all there. I'm not going to rage about YouTube and other things tonight. Everyone, please have a fantastic day. Also, subscribe to my vlog channel. Whacker. So, shit, man. I need to make more videos like that. Holy fuck. Um... Pretty much called everything uh, last August. Like I said, not trying to stroke my own dick, but like I wish people were really more rational and looked at the facts because we're always about the facts on this channel and like took that into consideration when they do shit. Well, think <laughs> when they think about things. Oh man, yeah, Je Jeeves is just barking at barking at people down there. House is getting broken into. No, no big deal. No big deal. No, um, someone was asking what the pistol was back here. Uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, Evan, we were, yeah, Black Rifle CEO. <laughs> we, <laughs> we were just talking to says he carries a 365. That's what I was like, oh my god, that's what I carry. P uh, dude, the Sig 365, the P365, so amazing, so amazing. Um, oh no, I'm a hacker. Um, <laughs> Black Rifle Cucked Company. <laughs> Uh, anyways, do you guys want to look at some memes? There were so I've been I've been on Twitter all day, just not not necessarily trolling people. Let me turn the music down just a little bit, just a little bit. Not necessarily trolling people, but just sharing my opinion on how right I thought that whole case was. Hi. Hopefully the music's not too loud. Let's turn it down a little bit. I don't ever stream on YouTube, so it's a completely different setup. Just need a little music though. I'm gonna vibe and look at memes with you guys. I gotta, I gotta have a little, a little, little music in the background, a little ambiance. Cross state lines. Oh, what about your BRC buddies? <laughs> oh man. Hey, thanks for the twenty bucks, man. You carry a 365. Oh man, I love it. It's my favorite concealed carry gun I've ever had in my life. Uh, cause I carried a, I carried a full size uh Walter, oh uh, fuck PPQ for a while, and uh. I, this this thing this thing is just like it's so slim and I, I don't know it just feels 
so good in my hand. It's light. Like it's it's my it's my favorite concealed carry I've ever had. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell me where the coffee company hurt you? Show me on the doll where the coffee company hurt you. <laughs> Benjamin, thanks for the 20 bucks. Thanks for the 10 bucks, though. I appreciate you. Oh, chat's moving fast. I got it on slow mode. It's just we got 16,000 people in here, and it's moving a little bit fast. Let me Kenosha. Happy Cal is dismissed of charges, now waiting for more rise. So that's another reason we're on here tonight. I'm doing kind of a riot review with me. Have you guys seen any riots happening tonight? Because I thought that people would already be tearing up towns, their own towns, even, even, even not Kenosha. I figured people would already be tearing up shit. And um, I haven't really seen it that much today. Thanks for all the super chats. Jesus, guys. Appreciate the shit out of you. Yeah, I, I uh, we'll, we'll look that up. If you guys were here in January, I did the Capitol riots. And we had, God, we had 70,000 people on here. That was the most insane stream I've ever done in my life. We're going to do kind of the same thing. We're going to go around Twitter. Twi Twitter. We're gonna go around Twitter. We're gonna look at just like what's happening right now. Talk about it. Um, they're, they're scared. They're scared of Kyle. I was worried Rittenhouse would be convicted. Yeah, I, I, dude, I could have sworn me and uh, I, I sat with Brandon Herrera at brunch today, and we were talking about this. I could have sworn that he was either gonna plead down to a lesser charge, or, or like plead down to manslaughter. And what, from what Brandon was saying, and I don't, I don't, I, I haven't researched it yet. He was saying like. They didn't even give him the chance to plead down. They wanted him to catch those fucking murder charges. And I, I feel like he would have pleaded down if they gave him the option to do it. If that's if that's what, what's factually available, because it's like, oh, life in prison or I get five years for manslaughter. So I, I, I'm, I'm glad it went the way it did. It was a huge win for self-defense in the Second Amendment. But what, what am I saying? I'm just a big, dumb cop racist dude. Uh, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's finally somebody with a brain. It's donut. Thank you so much, Cash. Thanks for twenty-seven dollars and ninety-nine Californias. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, let's let's fucking look at some memes. Let's hang out. Let's see what's going on in the world right now. Because I'll I'll show you how my how my day's been going. Uh, I'm about to tear up some liquor. D fish says. Me too. Um, hold on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to read your guys' super chats. I'm sorry, they're coming in really fast, man. Uh, Tim says Kenosha jury just ruled that actions during riots have consequences. Suddenly enforcement of the law is popular again. You mean we're actually going to like arrest fucking rioters? This isn't Portland where there's no bail and you just like you go riot again the next day and uh, the cycle continues. Oh my God. I, I bet Portland's going to have some gnarly riots. Tonight. I don't see how anyone can fucking live in that place, man. Hey, thanks for the five bucks, Austin. You live 15 minutes from Kenosha. That stuff has been one hell of a roller coaster. I bet, man. Stay safe. Uh, Brian, uh, BLM, Antifa, and Kyle supporters were sharing pizza outside the courthouse. All right, that's pretty fucking cool, man. When everyone just like drops their shit for a minute and is like, hey, you guys want some pizza? Hell yeah, let's eat some pizza. That's pretty rad. The riots will start this weekend when all the college students get out of school for Thanksgiving. That's a good point, Jack. Thank you again for the, for the, the, the big dick, the big dick super chat there. You carry a Ruger SR-96 as Pompa Bear, one of my favorite handguns. Uh, what, what is your opinion on that handgun? Also on h and I, I've never shot either one of those, buddy, so I couldn't even tell you. But thank you for the super chat, man. Trade you my Beretta, says Slave. I don't, I don't own any Beretta products right now. I'm a truck driver leaving California this evening. Didn't see riots in Sacramento or San Francisco, says Austin. If you're not seeing riots in, in there, then I don't, I don't know if we're going to see riots anywhere. <laughs> How much do you think Kyle would get for putting the rifle used in auction? Hypothetical question. And would you bid on it? Uh, I think Brandon Herrera and I would have a bidding war on that rifle. <laughs> David, thank you for the $5. I appreciate that. Going to be working at 7-Eleven Portland until 10 tonight. Wish me luck. Oh, no. Rittenhouse sitting <laughs> with Ark. I don't want to say that out loud. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Kyle's guilty of one thing. Murdering Binger's career. Oh, little Binger? <laughs> oh, oh no, that man broke so many, so so many things, so many things. Uh, there will be barely any riots because riders perish from Kyle's self-defense. For... <laughs> Never seen so many people defend a you know what. <laughs> there we go. Let's just say you know what. He died the way he living trying to touch a minor. I love how uh, Brandon made that joke in his. In his video he did um 
the meme review that got taken down. And and uh and Tucker Carlson said it last week, and I was like, oh Brandon said that fucking joke last year. Tucker just stole his joke. <laughs> oh man, thanks for all the super chats, guys. I'm trying to catch up. Jesus. Justin Sam and Rittenhouse have declared custody <laughs> joint custody of CNN. Do you think uh, we were, Brandon and I were talking about the night too? I know I keep I keep talking about him, but we Brandon and I sat there for like fucking five hours or like three hours a day and talked about like all this shit. It's crazy, man. Thanks for becoming a member, Grim. Thanks for the ATV. Thanks for the 99.99. You're you're a stud. Let's go, Brandon. About time we get some good news. The past two years have been such shit. Yeah, living Kenosha, nothing's going on at all. Seems like the country is fed up with this shit. Okay, so Owen just said Owen Smith says he lives in Kenosha and nothing is happening. Because I thought I could get on here and we could just like watch some riots and like talk about like, oh, you're all stupid, like we did with the Capitol riots. Uh, any quick update on buying an armory for that small police force? Yeah, I'm, I'm working with a gun company here on getting those FFL'd out right now. It's just taking a little bit longer because it's it's eight, eight rifles at a time. And I'm still working with some some other companies on getting the rest of the gear, like the body armor and uh, uh, the, they need med kits. And we're just trying to get as much as we can for them as possible to send to them at one time. What is, I'm glad that Kyle walked. I, dude, Twitter Twitter is a dumpster fire and a half right now, and that's what we're gonna look at. But you guys are just sending so many super chats. I'd feel bad not to read your super chat if you're just if you're donating and freaking helping me out. Hey, donut, I haven't seen you in a while. This Kyle ain't your typical drink monster and punched a hole in drywall. He drinks Red Bull and gives you wings. <laughs> Have a good stream. Hope nothing burns this weekend. Ace, thank you. I don't. Uh, there's so many people on Twitter like, yeah, let's go burn it down. Let's do do this, and it's not happening. It's not that uh, I'm, I'm bummed out about that not happening, but like, it's I, I figured that the world would be going crazy right now, and I, I I I truly feel like one of you guys just said in chat, it's like everyone's just fucking tired of it. Plus, I mean, I think there's another reason why people aren't rioting over this, but we're just not gonna say that reason. And we're going to look at Twitter. <laughs> yeah, so my Twitter day was fun as fuck. Um, oh, <laughs> Angry Cops is back doing Donut News Network stuff. So that's pretty fun. Hey, thanks for all the super chats again, guys. Hey, Professor, glad to hear Kyle will have a chance at life. See, that's the thing. I don't think he's going to have a very, a very good chance at life with how demonized... Uh, you know the the media has put him out to be ah oh, man can i donate medical supplies to you so you can give to that police department that needs rifles uh yeah yeah i was thinking about starting a non-profit where so if you guys haven't heard about this there's a small police department in tennessee and uh they contacted me because they went to go to an active shooter situation and it turned out not to be an active shooter situation but they were like, we don't have rifles. We can't afford rifles. You know, the, 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 we've been defunded. We don't have patrol rifles. And I did an ad and got enough money to buy them patrol rifles. And we're about to send them patrol rifles here soon. It's eight officers, a small police department. And I, I want to start a nonprofit where like these police departments where they're like, we're going to die. Like we're going to fucking die. We don't have rifles where I can help them out as much as I can. It's 36 degrees in Kenosha. Rioters go burr. Uh, that's that's a good reason right there why like they're not gonna riot. Um. Anyway, today I will show you what I have been dealing with and talking with people about today. Oh uh, man. Oh yeah, I was at Zydax the other day, and they had all these 3090s. If you guys are in the PC building, you know how how sexy this picture is right here. Oh, <laughs> so I'm gonna have so much riot content. But it's it's weird how many. I, I don't even say it's weird. It's like to be it's to be expected at this point. How many elected officials were just like, this case is all about white supremacy. Premise, white supremacy. Words are fucking hard tonight, boys. Uh, de Blasio came out and was like, Anthony Huber and Joseph Rosenbaum are victims. The, the pedophile and the wife beater. <clears throat> Uh, they should be alive today. The only not, and, and I know that doesn't matter in a self defense case. We're like, you know, Kyle didn't know that they were that, but it'll be really sad. Uh, the only reason they're not is because of a violent, dangerous man <laughs> chose to take a gun across state lines and start shooting people, which he didn't. He didn't take a gun across state lines. We've seen that argument shot down so many times, but the news media made that 
a big thing and that's what's in people's heads now because everyone wants to read the headline as we've said in 500 of my videos no one wants to fucking look at the facts and just read the goddamn article <sighs> yeah to call this a miscarriage of justice is an understatement when you have a a, a 12 person jury say that this person is not guilty of these five five crimes that's a miscarriage of justice 12 people who have never met any each other before never met each other before they've never met kyle rittenhouse and they all came to the same conclusion how is that a miscarriage of, of justice that that's that's what's driving me crazy about this whole fucking thing man um kyle's first in what i hope in a long line of this country in the right direction says dr epicness i pray this reveals the truth of the biased popular news networks and other media outlets also love you donut you're so cool thank you epicness i appreciate you man or lady put is to use thank you for all you do thank you nate thanks for 25 bucks man uh jp as a vet i stand behind you donut brcc and kyle screw the haters love you donut keep you going bro you had to say the b word now we're just gonna get in the chat again <gasps> it's a puppy Hold on, pet cam real quick. If you guys don't watch my Twitch stream, I stream over at twitch.tv slash donut operator sometimes. Hey, get away from my guns, dog. That's my AK. Get out of here. Get get out of here. You get go. Get out of here, you dang dog. Um uh oh, man, Matt, FN59 uh, FN509C. Keep it up, Donut. I've been watching you for a while. By far one of the best influencers. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you for the super chat. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to keep up with that shit. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you for the one, two, three, four, five, Nico. Uh, Michael, they died in the pursuit of social justice points from their mostly Caucasian social media circles. The Hanover Sea, probably no Viking King falling about it. it. has to do more honorable. That. that doesn't make sense to me, but cool, man. Uh, Nico, thank you, man. I watched the press conference Richards did afterwards. I haven't seen that. And I think it's cool that even after everything that happened to him, he said Kyle still wants to be a nurse. Still wanting to help people despite the fact so many are wishing him ill will. Okay, that's pretty fucking cool. Kyle still wants to be a nurse. That's rad. Still wants to help people. Do you see that photo of, of him cheesing in the car afterwards? It's like, oh my God. Like, like the man's reborn now. Hey, Grimes. Thank you, man. Never should have went to trial. I don't think so either. But he killed people. You can't, you can't, a couple people. So you can't like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, GTU, thank you, man. Thank you for the, thank you for that, man. You guys are fucking awesome tonight. Lord have mercy. Anyways, de Blasio said that, and you know, I, I retweeted it and was just like, they are not victims. This statement is factually wrong. He said a fact, like, I, I, I am so looking forward to seeing if, if Kyle does go after these people for like libel and defamation of character and make a bunch of money. As someone was saying earlier, the, the Native American kid, uh, oh shit, I can't remember his name where CNN and all them CNN like blasted this kid all over the news when he didn't do anything wrong and CNN had to pay him $250 million. I'm just, I'm just, I really, really want to see what happens, what happens with, with Kyle. If he goes after like all these, cause he can go after, he can go after public officials at this point. If it's, if, if it actually becomes a thing, you know, you got de Blasio on here saying this, you have so many, dude, I've seen so many congressmen on Twitter today, just blasting him saying he's a white supremacist. He's a white supremacist. This white supremacist shot three white people. <laughs> Makes a bunch of fucking sense to me, am I right? The Babylon Bee has been killing it lately. If you don't follow them, they're a satire website. I think, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're more right-leaning than anyone. I don't talk about politics very much. I like to talk about the facts, but they're funny as shit. Writers flee in terrors. Kyle Rittenhouse emerges from courthouse with AR-15. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. That's funny stuff. Hold on. Let me read some of these super chats. I'm sorry, guys. Whacker says FTW, man. Thank you for the super chat. Roof Koreans and Wyatt Walkers. Who is up next to join the crew? <laughs> Gotta look out for them skinwalkers. Uh, Nick Sandman. Thank you, buddy. Someone was telling me about Skinwalker Ranch the other day. And I've never even heard of the term Skinwalker. And I'm really looking forward to, to going down the rabbit hole of all the crazy extraterrestrial shit that goes on out there. Bum, 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 Praise God, just served today. Hey, Vinny, if you want to send me some of your coffee, man, go for it. Appreciate the super chat. A charity to support smaller underfunded PDs is a fantastic idea. Props to you for buying those rifles for them. Hell yeah, brother. This stream is going to be awesome. I'd... It's going to be awesome. Oh, so it hasn't been awesome for the past 39 minutes, huh? I love you guys. I'm just playing. I got called a fascist today for saying what a convicted... <laughs> Saying that a convicted pedo and a wife beater didn't matter. I thought it was kind of funny. Ryan says that. James. 
I got 250, 250 million, Kyle. Kyle's like, hold my Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying not to get too political with this. I love your content. What holster do you use for your 365? Oh, man. I honestly use just kind of a... Just a random holster that I bought at the store. Um, oof, I, I don't know. It's an inside the waistband holster that I have. I carry a appendix and uh, it just it just works. So I, 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 I don't know the brand is comfortable. Oh, that trial that trial that was one of the most insane trials I've ever seen. I wish I, you know, what's funny. I remember watching the OJ trial when I was in like the fifth grade, fourth grade, something like that. And it was along those lines of, of, of craziness. Hey, thanks for becoming a member, John. I forgot people could, could become members on my channel. Uh, is that Berserk Collector's Edition in the background? Why? Yes, I do read manga and love anime. And yes, that is all Berserk Collector's Edition. You can tell from my background, I got Spike Spiegel over here. I got Spike Spiegel on my arm. Yes, I, I am. I am a weeb. <laughs> do, 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 do. Can listen to radio traffic on Kenosha. Oh, I forgot about Broadcastify. I'm dumb as shit. Regarding Second Amendment, absolutely victory yourself in this long-term case will be referenced. To push gun control legislation worries me. I hope this helps people be more responsible for with the firearms. Absolutely. 100%. Let me, oh, let's go to Broadcastify and like check that shit out. We'll check that out for a minute. Kenosha County. So we got the county on here. Should we listen? I mean, do they have a, can you choose the option between city and county? I know you guys can't see the screen right now. I wonder if you can choose to do, choose between, here you go. Choose between county and city because I would feel like we need to listen to the city, but I don't know if you can tick. I don't know if you can go back and forth between them. Oh, they got descriptions on here too? They just, they... Oh, here we go. Kenosha County Public Safety, County Sheriff. Oh man, City Fire Dispatch, Public Safety. Listen to the city, so oh, the City Police Department. Here we go, let's listen to this. American National Insurance ah, drops Jesus. in on Family Movie Night. Top one's ready. Where's the remote? Got it. Uh, of course they play an what ad. Matter? What matter Guess what we're gonna do? Under this roof may not be insured. Boop. <laughs> Thoughts on the Cowboy Bebop live action? Oh my God! Did you see the? Did you see them talking about? Um, uh, they they released who's gonna play Ed today, or not? Not who it is, but like there's a little clip with Spike and Ed, and it's oh Jesus Lord have mercy. It is bad. It looks bad. It's so cringe. There's 5,000 people listening to it. Yeah, we'll go back to that here in just a second. We'll keep it in the corner right here. Let me get this ad over. There we go. Nothing. We'll just keep that up. Oh, bunny. Don't <laughs> show me where the VRCC touched you. Uh, Six three nine forty seven twenty two thirty six Avenue number one four seven two two three six Avenue number one. Callers of apartment three set last music coming from the apartment of music that's causing the photos to fall off the wall. Music so loud it's causing the photos to fall off the wall. So we got a loud music complaint. Woo! Riot review. <laughs> oh man, uh, Angry Cops has been on a roll today with the Donut News Network. I wonder what did I do to cause six thousand people to live to, to live Jesus to leave? We had sixteen thousand now we're at ten thousand, so I'm just kind of I'm wondering, I'm wondering what I did. Did I start talking about weebs? Oh wait, it went back up to ten thousand or sixteen thousand. What? I told you guys I like anime and six thousand people. <laughs> four doors, more whores. Am I right? That's nothing to do with what I was just talking about. But someone just said four. Cryptic said four doors. Okay, I'll read some super chats. You guys are being too kind tonight, man. I appreciate that. I love you. I got several weeb, <laughs> I got several weeb tattoos. Uh, Nagasai Furukama and Clanad and Ruby Kurosawa from Love Live, as well as Lynn Kagimi's O2 tattoo. He'll even got a supernatural tattoo. Nice, crazy. I think uh, I think uh, myself and all my closest friends, we all have anime tattoos now. <laughs> hey, Lewis, thank you so much. I've been watching your videos for two years now. I've enjoyed all of them. Two years later, I'm almost an FTO at your department. Corn dog, that's awesome, man. Congratulations on that. Got some popos in the chat tonight. You can't mess this up today. Gainesville police arrested a different Kyle Rittenhouse for possessing child no-no picks. Oh, 
Wow. Oh man, talk about the guy who started a fight outside the courthouse. I haven't seen that one yet. We're gonna look, we're gonna look at that. Donut Rittenhouse and the Kenosha kid with the big iron. Oh, oh, by the way, Brandon Herrera is I don't know if he's released it yet, but he is currently filming an emergency gun meme review. So be on the be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be about every all the memes that we got today. I'm not gonna look at too many of them because I don't want to spoil it for his video. Oh, Rebel. I was in my political science class today. Oh my God, what a class to be in when the verdict comes out and you screamed, let's fucking go when the verdict came out. You pissed off the entire class. It was great. Do you live in California? Uh, I think we're real and giving facts mean a lot to people. Thank you, GTU, man. You want to be a cop? Hell yeah. What's up, Donut? I'm from Nofuck. 10 minutes away from Little Creek. I was stationed at both Nofuck and Little Creek. Crystal, thanks for becoming a member. Adam, thank you. Bleach or Naruto? I, I honestly haven't watched either one of those, but thank you. Uh, the Skate Shop, Skate Shop's doing fantastic. Just as good as always. Lewis, thank you for that big dick donation, man. I appreciate the shit out of you. Mommy Milkers or Thick Thighs Saved Lives? I would go with Thick Thighs Saved Lives over Mommy Milkers. Let's watch some Angry Cop stuff, though. He was doing the Donut News Network thing today, and it's funny as shit. Donut News Network. Angry Cops reporting for DNN Donut News Network here live in Kenosha, Wisconsin, where Kyle Rittenhouse was just found not guilty of all charges. Donut, a pro-pedophilia group, has taken to the streets in support of one of their own who was slain by Kyle Rittenhouse. These protests are going to get nasty. Back to you. <laughs> Angry cops reporting for DNN. Oh, Donut my God. I haven't watched all these yet. He did like he did like five of them today. We all love our Angie cop. And Donut News. That's the one we just watched. Okay. DNN Donut News. Angry cops reporting live for DNN Donut News Network. Donut, they've shut down several schools in the area because they're close to the courthouse. Uh, what people don't realize is the safest place for children is probably around Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> no pedos anywhere near those kids. Back to you. <laughs> oh my God, I love Rich so much. <laughs> That's funny as shit. Uh, yeah, I'm listening to, let's turn on Broadcastify. All we got so far is a noise complaint. Waiting. 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 waiting <laughs> you were in norfolk one time pj says yeah i was stationed there for like uh, four years three and a half four years <sighs> and then i was at little creek for almost a year i was trying to come become a super sweet navy seal which did obviously did work out i just trying to be like mr ballin you guys know that me and mr ballin were in um one buds class apart i think he told me he was in 293 and i was in 292. so we probably ran into each other in coronado don't i got to meet with sergeant mike chess and weymouth pd officer was hit with a rock and executed mom last week after honor millennial i just wanted to know that appreciate having mentioned him before yeah for sure man that was a tragic case i'll squirt in the rest of the peanut gallery hold on let's check the animal camera well they're not here but they're good they're super good I wanted to say thanks for the videos. You swore into the army today? Guys, can we give Niskul, N-I-S-K-U-L? Congratulations. That's awesome, man. You leave in January. Oh, man. Uh, NW Fishing Secrets. With the, with the big D donation. Just celebrating a great time for the Second, uh, second Amendment community. Come fish on the West Coast with Taku and me anytime. <gasps> I would love to fish with you and Taku. I fucking love that guy's channel. Guys, if you haven't seen Outdoor Chef Life or the NW Fishing Secrets, I guess Northwest Fishing Secrets, please check them out. Outdoor Chef's Life is amazing. And NW Fishing Secrets. I'm, I know I've seen you on there and I've watched your videos before. Thank you so much for the donation. You're amazing. I would fucking love to do that. Will you send me an email? Will you please send me an email? Um, I am so interested in doing that. I am looking for vlog content right now. I'm almost caught up on my backlog of five months of vlogs, so I would love to do that. All right, let's get back into it. Uh, how ironic is it that a culture that hates child, a lot of child, the hero of chasing child, had legally possessed a gun? Yeah, GL, thanks for 25 bucks, man. That's, yeah. Ugh. 
Dude, Twitter, Twitter's such a cesspool. KPD, thanks for 20 bucks, man. Uh, Glamin, thank you for your stuff. Gannon, thank you. What will happen to Kyle's rifle? Will he get it back or will it be kept as evidence? I don't know if he can get it back. I don't know. Have you considered going, uh, going on Tim Pool? Yeah, they've... Oh, fuck, man. They sent me a message a while back and I, I, I saw it and I was considering it, but I try to stay not very political whatsoever with my content. And I know he's he does a lot of political stuff. Um, I'd be his friend for sure, but I don't know if I want to go on a podcast because I've always avoided, I've, I've avoided politics like the plague because I just, it's just not my shtick. I, I'm, I'm, I'm into facts and, and police shooting people <laughs> basically. Uh, don't I support, <laughs> don't know why you support Kyle. He hates skateboards. <laughs> thank you, rocker. Uh, thanks for 10 bucks, Lewis. Uh, purple. Thank you, man. Bunker down for protests. Purple said he didn't realize Kyle was acquitted until he got texts from out of state family telling him to bunker down for the protest. We haven't seen anything so far. Like, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Uh, the ramen place you went to on the other channel is legit. Going back there next week. Oh, are you talking about Hero Ramen in San Antonio? Oh, that place is dope. Should we dark humor and sarcasm? <laughs> I love your content. It's dripping with dark humor and sarcasm. I can't use words to express how much I love that. Thank you so much, Rich. You're awesome. All right, let's watch some more of a. Uh, Rich, speaking of Rich, let's watch some more Rich's videos. That one was very funny. This one, I love this one. Uh, what people don't realize is the safest place for children is probably around Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> no pedos anywhere near those kids. Back to you. Oh, to Angry the cops. to the wood chipper with them. Am I right? I think well, I think one of my my most liked and uh, retweeted tweets was was a week ago, two weeks ago. I said all all pedos should go into wood chippers. <laughs> and it was that one was circulated. Yeah, Hero Almond. Oh, dude, Hero Almond is so good, man. Uh, I've had your biggest Justice Boner. You've had the biggest Justice Boner since the verdict. I get Justice Boners uh, a lot. <laughs> if it lasts longer than four hours, should you call your doctor? Yeah, yeah, that's so that's called priapism. If, you're, you're, if your erection, even if it's a Justice Boner, lasts for more than five hours, um, you will get priapism. Uh, if you guys don't watch Smarter Every Day, there's a, a spider in the in the... Uh, in the jungle, in the rainforest, that if it bites you, it gives you a boner. And if your boner lasts for more than four hours, you get priapism, which is where all the blood inside your pee pee coagulates and it becomes like a, like a jelly, like a hard paste, depending on how long it sits there. It can eventually get to the point where it becomes a scab. And I am not going to explain to you how they fix priapism at that point. But watch Smarter Every Day's video about the boner spiders. It's pretty, it's pretty awful. There's really nothing going on in the scanner. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. What's up, Jeeves? <gasps> Pet cam. Are you, are you stealing Ari's phone again, you little turd? My God. Oh, here comes Ari. Oh, they're going to fight. They're going to fight. Fight, fight, fight. Oh, no fighting. I was trying to play dog fights on here. I wanted a Michael Vick stream. All right, nothing is happening on the police scanner whatsoever. Damn it. What the fuck are we? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, Angry's Angry is being fucking hilarious today. Here, let's watch Donut News Network AC reporting live with DNN, Donut News Network from Kenosha, Wisconsin, where Donut, I can tell you that there are thousands of people gathering <laughs> Thanks, <for> John. <laughs> protests. Not to actually protest. There's only about 30 of them, but there are thousands of media people here gathering to try and make sure that something might pop off and that we can get some video evidence of it. I tell you what, I can't wait to see that Wonder Bread Italian Cuomo from CNN show up and call him Fredo. Back to you, Donut. Jesus. I know, right? He's like, we're just waiting for something to happen. No, nothing's happening. <laughs> I thought that's what we were going to be able to do, just like the Capitol Riot stream I did, where you can, we can pull up some live streams and try, and try and see some riots. Not that I want riots to happen, but it's like, Really? Riots aren't happening? Is it because they activated the National Guard and people were like, oh, we don't want to fuck with the army. <laughs> Matthew said, how's your night? Thank you for being a member for 37 months. Holy shit. I'm, I'm good, Matthew. I hope your night's going really well. It looks like in your profile pic, you're a firefighter. Thank you for your service. Tucker Carlson is making Kyle Rittenhouse documentary, has been filming this entire time behind the scenes. Please watch the preview on his Twitter. <gasps> okay, I'll fuck with that. Yeesh. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I did I did not know that. 
They didn't like our trailer. Here's the new one. Did they? Oh, did they delete his trailer? December Tucker Carlson. Fox, yeah. All right, let's watch this top one. Crazy, sinister, disturbing. Hold on, that sounds like a parody. Let's do this like, first. Once you find it's the stuff that keeps you up at night. Like once you finally do get to sleep, your dreams are about what happened, and you're waking up in a in a dark, cold sweat. Yeah. You had dreams about what happened every single night. It's, it's quite scary actually because the dreams feel so real and they're not the same at all they're all different they're the different scenarios that run through your head during the day like what could have happened like it, I'm, I'm alive but what could have happened like what if i wasn't alive or what if i did let mr resonant steal my gun it's those type of dreams of the outcome of it's bad, but almost every outcome is either me getting seriously injured or hurt or dead. Those are just the dreams I have on a daily basis. The defendant will rise and face the jury and hearken to its verdicts. Do you see his? Re do you guys see his reaction yet? When they read "not guilty," like I teared up. State of Wisconsin versus Kyle Rittenhouse. As to the first count of the information, Joseph Rosenbaum. The jury find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. As to the second count of the information, Richard McCann, Bro. We the jury find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. Richard, thank you. How do you feel, man? The jury reached the correct verdict. Self defense is not illegal. And I believe they came to the correct verdict, and I'm glad that everything went well. And it's been a rough journey, but we made it through it. Slamming, thank you. We made it through the hard part. Okay, hold on. What's what? Oh, hold on, hold on. Someone's carrying a backpack. Northbound on Forty Fourth Avenue, saying he's meeting a group at four four and six five. Six nine three. Seven three one. Six nine. Yeah, traffic. Cool, folks. Um, do you call us for the new one? Six zero. We have a battery from October with no names in it and a suspicious in October as well. Affirmative. Oh my God! Yeah. Stop. Seven three one ten sixty. Seven seven zero six nine three same traffic. The mic seven, isn't seven, a cock. Three. Don't put it in your mouth. All right. Well, I don't. I heard a suspicious person with a backpack or something. I don't know. All right. What was what was this one? Then? Oh, that's an older one. Seven seven six. Two thirty five. Sure. Glass is on high. Coming on that black one. Checking from zero from fifty. I have no, I have no fucking idea what what they are talking about. All right, we'll we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. What else? What else is going on in the Donut News Network on Angry Cops? DNN Donut News Network here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Donut. Interesting news. A crazy development. The United States Department of Defense has signed a contract with Kyle Rittenhouse. He is now going to become a riot control device. That's right. Unbelievable. <laughs> Kyle will be giving up a portion of his DNA so that he can be cloned and utilized by law enforcement offices and departments across this nation to prevent rioting. Back to you, Donut. <laughs> AC reporting oh live God. for DNN Donut News Network here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Donut, interesting news, a crazy development. The United States Department of Defense has signed a contract with Kyle Rittenhouse. He is now going to become a riot control device. That's right. Unbelievable. Kyle will be giving up a portion of his DNA so that he can be cloned and utilized by law enforcement offices and departments across this nation to prevent rioting. Back to you, Donut. <laughs> AC reporting live for DNN. God, I love angry. DNN forever. We've been planning. Oh, that was the last one. Oh, man. What? My mom just sent me a text. I don't know. I don't know what she heard. She's watching the stream. She said, Lord, Cody. No, oh, did I curse too much? Oh, she's probably talking about the putting your mic in your mouth like a pee pee joke that I just made. When was that? 719? No. I wonder, what, I wonder what my mom said, Lord Cody, for. What did I say? Mom, what did I say? Te text me real quick. I don't know what I said. I'll, I won't do it again. Did I say the GD word too many times, Mom? I'm sorry. I don't think I've said the GD word this whole time. I just heard DOJ is going for federal charges, says Miriam. 
I don't I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think so. Are there riots happening anywhere? Hold on, pet cam. Boop. Aw, we got doges. Riot. <laughs> riot. Riot games, not riot games. Riots erupt as anti-lockdown protests in Rotterdam. There, there are no riots going on in the United States, I don't believe right now. We got some, some riots in other parts of the world, but there's no riots going on in the United States. Riot game, like it, look, it's even like Riot Games announces there is not anything going on in the United States right now. Maybe we'll see. I'm sure, I'm sure in Portland they're still doing it because they've been doing it for two years straight. But there's rioting in Chicago. Everyone, <laughs> thank you for saying hey to my mom. My mom is here. I am trying not to say the GD word or talk about peepees or coom too much. <laughs> I should stream on YouTube more. This is fun. This is fine. You guys are awesome. Hey, have you guys heard of Black Rifle Coffee Company? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there's no... Hold on. What are you saying? I heard something. Disturbance? Show me on the doll where the coffee company hurt you. <laughs> oh, man. They stopped. I heard something about a disturbance. Lord have mercy. Hold on. My mom's texting me real quick. Oh, I was talking about... Oh, my mom said Lord Cody because I was talking about the boner spiders. The ones that give you priapism. So if you guys didn't know, if you have priapism, so we have an erection longer than four hours, the blood starts to coagulate in your wiener. And they, they get it out by taking a needle and removing the blood but if it's in there for too long it becomes a scab because it's blood they have to lance it out the more you know knowledge is power <laughs> my mom says lord cody spiders yes you did you only said gd one time <laughs> my dad says that's so funny your mom and i laughed oh so mom's laughing at, at having a uh, boner spider injury okay Okay, mom was laughing. I thought that was a Lord like Cody. You said GD too many times. No, she was laughing at the boner spider story. Okay, okay. Guys, tell tell mom hey in the comments for me. Tell her she's she's a beautiful, wonderful lady who raised me right. Oh, with the 20 bucks. No riots in Kenosha. Cal is free and they learned their lesson. <laughs> Does anyone want to not say in chat, but make a... Make, make kind of a gander as to why there aren't many riots over this. You're a nice lady. <laughs> She's a nice lady. <laughs> oh, man. Well, mom, you got about 15,000 people here saying hello and that you're a wonderful, you're a wonderful human being. Oh man, you know what I haven't done on stream in like a year is play bingo. I don't want to do it right now. I'll set up more bingo. We need to have like a bingo night. We need to have like a Wednesday or Thursday bingo night. We need to have a bingo night. We definitely, we're, we got to have a bingo night. Let me read some of these super chats. You guys are being super generous and super awesome tonight. How happy were you to hear demo curse? Okay, so if you guys didn't know, I have a podcast with Batty and Eli. It's called the Unsubscribe Podcast. We have 30 episodes out now, and we had Demolition Ranch on there the other day. I wasn't there. I was in Salt. This is, is that seriously the most exciting thing going on in Kenosha? We got a man walking in the roadway. He's in the roadway. <laughs> um, but yeah, we had Demolition Ranch on the podcast the other day. I was in Salt Lake City, um, hanging out with Black Rifle Coffee Company, <laughs> and um. They got they got him on there to curse. Demolition Ranch cursed on our podcast called the Unsubscribe Podcast. Check that out if you want to laugh and hear me talk about semen. Um, Donuts Mom is awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, there's like nothing going on. But there's a guy in the roadway in Kenosha. Did you guys know there's a guy in the roadway in Kenosha? <laughs> let's go back to Twitter. And I, I don't know. Let's, let's just do Rittenhouse. Let's look at what's trending. Um, that's the search function. I don't know how to do it on desktop. I'm stupid. 
Officer Cousin, Frank Shulman, Northwest Driver, make your own case. Reckless Driver, make your own case. 75 Hunter Block at 22nd Avenue for Silver Cadillac. Reckless Driver. Um, Pollard? Suggested. Suggested. How do you do? Hmm. Explore. Explore. Trending. We're trending. Trending. There we go. Oh, man. Lord of mercy. Guys, thank you for all the super chats tonight. You're being fucking generous. Sorry, mom. I'm cursing so much. Uh, uh, Canon. Thanks for the 20 bucks. Your mom is amazing and beautiful. Canon paid $20 for me to read that. Canon baller 2020. Chicago protest. Check it. Okay, I'll check it here in a second. Um, A-Roll, thanks for 10 bucks. No riots are happening because every state trooper, every officer in the area, Fed boys, oh, the Fed boys there and the National Guard are all there. They don't want that smoke. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. They're, they're scared to get, get pulled up into those federal marshal, uh, ah, I'm being robbed. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, God. Are you just standing behind me? <laughs> All right, the nephew's back. Oh, Jesus. Guys, don't tell him I'm a racist. Again, again. Please don't tell. Huh? Nothing. Don't tell Coconut Operator on Instagram that I'm racist. You just snuck up on me. Uh, my, you snuck up on me, my ninja. Yeah, I, was gonna ask, <laughs> I am hungry, yes. Are you getting food? Yeah. What are you getting? I don't know. I was going to ask what you hungry. You like Thai food? Okay, I'll jump off here in like half an hour and then I'll order some food. Unless you want to, are you hungry, hungry right now? You just worked out, right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and hold on. Here you go. I don't know. I would have to look. Just order you some food if you want some. Uh, Jackson, thanks for the $20. I I'm going to get Thai food later, probably. I think so. Yeah, but just order what you want, bud. Guys, again, don't tell him I'm racist. <laughs> uh, Tim, thank you for the ten dollars. I appreciate you, man. Uh, my cousin is the chief of police in Belton, South Carolina. Very small. I'm sure you could use some help. Love your content. Yeah, we were working on getting the nonprofit started right now. Oh man, that's crazy, Joey. Multiple vehicle convoys mostly were out of state drivers. That's how most of these protests go. They're usually out of state drivers. Beer and smoke chicken time. Thanks for the entertainment. Mike, enjoy your beer and your smoke chicken. You know what I haven't made in a minute? Beer can chicken, where you shove the a beer up the chicken's asshole and then you uh and then and then you you, you grill it. All right, okay, Kyle Rittenhouse, number one ongoing news story is trending. Let's look at what's trending, what people have to say about this. CNN comes clean about Kyle Rittenhouse from Ian Chong. Chong. Chong, Chong, Chong. That were not necessarily public knowledge before that. One, uh, there has been a lot of talk, especially by politicians, about uh, where Rittenhouse was the night uh, of this shooting. And it turned out he was already in Kenosha, that he had family here, including his father, that the gun was here in Kenosha. He did not bring that. Oh, they finally fucking said that. Huh. Huh. Over state lines. It turned out during this trial that we learned that the gun that he had a hold of, he actually could legally possess, according to the judge and according to the law here, uh, because of the measurements of the gun. Had it been shorter and a short There are so many elected officials, people in Congress saying, I can't believe this, this teenager crossed state lines with an assault rifle. CNN just said it wasn't true had a hold of he actually could legally possess according to the judge and according to the law here uh, because of the measurements of the gun had it been shorter and a short barreled gun then it would have been illegal but because it wasn't the judge said that that needed to be thrown out and indeed that charge of a minor in possession of a gun illegally was thrown out in this case the jury only looking at those who were injured those who were endangered and those who were killed uh, the night uh, in August that Rittenhouse ended up shooting people uh, we also uh, learned he was working here that night that he had stayed over that night uh here and we saw some he was already there working in fucking kenosha staying with his dad but no no cnn just admitted that but no he crossed state lines with an assault rifle to cause trouble fuck you 
video of, for example, Joseph Rosenbaum, the first person that he shot and killed. We saw drone video, high resolution drone video that did not come into this case until five days into this trial. And that is under contention. There was a mistrial requested because uh, of both what the defense called prosecutorial overreach and they said they were going to file about this video that appeared uh, very late in the game, the high resolution version okay, so, of it. But now... Uh, Ray, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Um, I am. I probably won't make a video only case, only because I cannot beat Brandon Herrera's video. Um, he did. No, no, fuck, fuck you. He did this video right here, and I he would he not because I can't beat it per se, but what he said was exactly what I would have said. And he probably even said it better. Um, that one. So when the laser guided nuclear hollow... He made a 25 minute video covering the entire trial up until five days ago. And it was so fucking good. He broke it down exactly like I would have broke it down. He was probably funnier about it too. Um, despite being almost 10 years younger than I am, Brandon is, is one of the the funniest, most clever fucking people I've ever met in my life. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. But uh, yeah, his video, Kyle Rittenhouse should walk free. Trial recap is fucking good. Wait, isn't that you? <laughs> right? I'm trying to get my hair that long. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's good. It's really, 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 really good. Brandon is 12 years old. Yes. Yes. I gotta, oh, is it? Why is it still submitting? Wingstop. Oh, it confirmed. You getting that, you getting that mango habanero from the Wingstop? Oh man. <laughs> my mom said, by the way. Um. My mom said, uh, "I love you. This has made me so happy." So mom's giving you guys a shout out this time. Yeah, buddy. Love you. Baller spiders. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to keep going. I kind of want to see what people have to say. I can't believe CNN just came out and said that. Ugh. Whatever, Mercy. All right, let's keep going. Let me turn my music back up a little bit. Oh, let's listen to the scanner. This is a wild stream. There might be another person in the street or a noise complaint in Kenosha. Nope, nothing. <laughs> oh man, Gage Grosskraut's advanced towards Kyle Rittenhouse with his gun drone. We know that, we saw that one. Danger, thanks for the 10, the 10 bucks or the 20 bucks, bud. Um, Phoenix, thank you. Uh, Chris says, hi, Mama Donut. Chris Holbert says that. Tyler, hey, Donut, love the viz. My grandpa was an undercover officer for 30 years. Oh, that's crazy, man. Thank him for his service for me. He then was a firearms instructor. Have a good night, Brad. Mono, thanks for the 11 months. I appreciate you. Uh, DOJ, put... <laughs> Will we see you collaborating guest appearance with Rakita Law anytime? Is that the one that Brandon was shouting out? I think Brandon mentioned those people in his video. It's the attorneys that were breaking down the live footage, I believe. Is that them? Thanks for sticking to the facts. I love the content. DOJ put roof Koreans everywhere equals no riots. See, I've been telling them for years. All you got to do is take a roof cream, put them on every roof in Kenosha or wherever the riots are. No one's going to riot. You're just here. What CNN say? CNN finally just came out and said Kyle was working there. He was staying at his dad's house in Kenosha. He did not state or he did not cross state lines with a rifle to cause trouble. He was just there. I didn't and what oh man, the crazy thing about about that that whole thing was too is like they never said nothing was ever said about his dad lives in Kenosha. He stays with his dad a lot. That was never said until like seven days ago. No one knew about that. It's like, oh, he crossed state lines and go cross trouble. And it's like, no, he's fucking staying with his dad. I didn't even know that shit. 
And the, and when they say you know cross state lines, it was still just a twenty minute drive. Oh man. Oh, here's a good one. I knew it. Kyle Rittenhouse is proof that white people can still break the law, carry illegal weapons, shoot and kill people, and get away with it in America by shedding tears and claiming self-defense. Can I can I counterpoint to this? One moment. One moment. Did you guys see this case today? I don't know. I, they didn't talk about this case today. It's so crazy. This is this case. This case was finished today also. Andrew Coffey found not guilty of murder and attempted murder in Indian River County SWAT raid, right? So this is this is Andrew Coffey. Um, I think you saw it in the thumbnail. That's Andrew Coffey, right? I, th I, I haven't read the details of it, but I think, I think it was a botched raid. He had a shootout with cops. He shot at police officers. His girlfriend got killed. Police officers shot his girlfriend and he was exonerated. Or wait, the officers were exonerated. Excuse me. He was found not guilty of five five counts. Uh, shit. What was it? What was it? What was it? Um, grand jury exonerated the officers, and then, but he was found not guilty of the attempted murder charges. Six six charges. Uh, he was found not guilty of five or five of the sorry five of the six charges. He wasn't supposed to have the gun, right? I think that's what it was. This happened today. This happened today. Found not guilty of five of the six charges. All the all the attempted murder charges that he had, they dropped him. I, and so, like, when I see tweets like that, like, I, it's it, that's proof right there that yes, black people can find justice. <laughs> like, I, I, I just. I, I don't know. Let's 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 move on. Let's move on. Love you, Donut. Gonna go watch Simcast. See you not. Um, let's see. Love your videos. Been watching the last couple of years. Says Noble Team. Thank you, Noble Team. Appreciate you, man. Uh, hey, Donut. What was your rate in the Navy? Uh, I was an AT, avionic electronic technician, on the C2 Greyhounds. I was stationed with VRC40 for a while. Love your videos. Been watching for the last couple of years. Good training material for me and the boys. Dude, one of my favorite things in the world is seeing uh, people send me pictures sometimes of them sitting in like a, a, an official law enforcement class, like going through the academy and they're watching my videos. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. That's like the best feeling in the world. You're stationed in San Diego. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, King or not King, but Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart. Yeah, yeah. I was in I was at Coronado for a very, very short amount of time. Uh, hey, Don, it's my first team. I've been watching for a long time. I think that you say it's important. People should listen to you. Thank you, Aaron. I'm actually kind of an idiot, but <laughs> I just, I'm just, I don't want to tell people the truth. I want to get the facts. I've always wanted to get the facts. Yeah, I was an AT. <laughs> uh, Christopher, Christopher Marr. Thank you for the big donation, man. Hello, sir and fellow people. Just want to say I love you, Donut. Enjoy the antics and dry ass humor. I have very dry ass humor. <laughs> so happy Kyle is not guilty. Hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. What are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? You going home to see the families? I think I'm going to do a Friendsgiving again this year. We had a Friendsgiving last year and we had, uh, we had Batty, Clean, um, we had Willers. We had, you know, just the boys around here that don't have family here. Because we all kind of moved here at the same time. Created a really cool little gun tuber community here. Uh, <laughs> Batty, thanks for the 10 bucks, buddy. Also, do you think they could take, I could take Houston Jones in a fight? No, probably not. Not only he's got a couple more pounds on me and he grew up doing martial arts and I only got into martial arts within the past couple of years. But I, I hung out with Houston, Houston Jones this week and I got to see Luke Rockhold give him a liver kick. And that was the gnarliest shit. He just crumpled. And then, I mean, believably so, because getting a liver kick just instantly cripples anyone. It was it was gnarly. You'll see his video on that soon. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, God, Cody. <laughs> Thanks for the ten dollar donation. He says furries for Kyle. <laughs> All right, furries for Kyle, Cody. <laughs> Thanks for the five bucks. They are. Uh, Thanks for the twenty dollars in California money. Twenty CAs. 
Oh yeah, the blue check marks in there insightful preaching, right? Bro, I need some belly some belly button for this. Thanks, Josh. Keep up the good shit, don't it? Thank you, dumbass. For the I'm not calling him a dumbass. His name is dumbass. Thanks for the thanks for the super chat. What do you think of the Navy CS's favorite galley food? Any stories? Um, my favorite galley food I ever had was on Fort Story. Uh that's that's like 30, I think it's 30 minutes from Little Creek. Fort Story had the best, the best galley food I've ever had in my life. Uh Jesse, what's up, man? Thank you, man. Thank you. I, I love it. Jesse says I'm uh I'm not a Trump supporter, but I'm glad that Kyle won. I love when people can can have different beliefs and come together and be like, hey, that was self-defense. That's really rad. That's really rad, man. Oh god, you guys the super chats are coming in. Donuts hung like a church mouse. Oh, oh more, more like a church donkey. <laughs> oh, thanks, Daniel. Uh, duck hunting tomorrow with my buddies and watching before we head in. Much love from Riverbank, California. New blood. Have fun, man. Good luck on your hunt. Thank you for the 50 MXs. What's an MX? What currency is that? I have no idea. When do we buy Kyle a Gucci AR? <laughs> He's the one protecting the courthouse right now, right? Did Kyle get off? Yes. Yes, on all charges. Dismissed with prejudice. <laughs> Marcus, thank you. Austin, thank you. Travis, if people can start acting full, the police should say, don't make us in Kyle out there. Also, furry. Oh, Mono. Mono donated and said, furries for Kyle, man. Got a lot of furry Kyle fans in here. I love you, uh, Austin. Thank you for the $10 super chat, man. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for what you do, sir. Hoping to meet you one day and make a trip out to 5-0 Skate Shop. Five Oaks K Shop's still open, by the way, guys. If you guys ever want to visit in Fort Mill, South Carolina, my manager Kim is the best person in the world. Uh, fellow sailor here says low flying, haze gray, and underway. What are the chances of a new liar liar video? Uh, I gotta I gotta find some more liar liar stuff, man. I'm about to start busting down heavily on the content. I know I've been kind of slacking lately. I, I I got really burned out this year, but I'm, I'm about to get back into it. I'm about to get back into it. VRC 40, you're A2O, VRC 30, debt 5, good friends at 40 right now. Oh, that's awesome, Pied. Hey, the big the big donut with the big dick donation. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Hollis, thank you, Austin. It's hard to keep up with these guys. You guys are being super freaking generous tonight. Um, let's read let's read some more of these tweets. So what I did on here was I went to the trending section just to see what's trending on Kyle Rittenhouse. And we've already disproved uh, Keith here. Um, everyone's comparing Kyle to, I've seen this a lot today, or people are comparing Kyle to, uh, uh, Trayvon. He was killed carrying a bag of Skittles. The right wing called him a threat. I don't, I don't, I, I know about the case. I haven't really dug much into it, but you know, that was, uh, uh, Trayvon, that was the, the George Zimmerman thing, which was a completely different situation by far, a completely different situation. He shot and killed two people with an AR. The right wing calls him a hero. Around two dozen members of the far left party for socialism and liberation are marching in Chicago to protest the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict with signs reading workers unite to smash fascism. And they're the fascists. Kyle will kill again. <laughs> oh, so Chicago, Chicago's not really having a riot, but they're having, they're having, they're having some stuff go on out there in Chicago, it looks like. Bunch of fucking commies. Um, <clears throat> uh, worker, uh, yeah, they're doing their thing. At least they're not riding. I, I, you know what? Like, I, I, I don't support their message, but I support peaceful protest as always. It's our First Amendment right, and I fucking fully support the Constitution. So, good on them. Good on them for not riding. Oh man, I, I feel bad. Uh, I feel bad that I can't read all these super chats. Greeting from Australia is your glorious mustache, self aware. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Mel's, <laughs> Mel's, I got a lot of furries in here tonight. Mel's with the uh, hashtag furries for Kyle. <laughs> Death, thank you. Do you, does anyone remember the fight I have with the furries like five years ago on Twitter? And the furries, I, I, I don't know. I made some off color comments about uh, furries. Because the furry community got really mad at me. I don't remember what it was about. But then a lot of furries started watching my content. And I have like a huge furry following now. It's like, you you do you. you whatever you do in your bedroom. As long as it's not with a child. And it, it, you do you. You do you, buddies. But I have a big furry following. 
Uh, you bet, brother. Thanks for the, thanks for the the big super chat, man. Echoing, thank you. Candice, thanks for the ten bucks. Gerard, thank you for the five dollars in California money. CAs. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, okay. So there's a little bit of protesting going on in Chicago. There's no rioting. Very much appreciate that. Oh yeah, as long as there's. <laughs> Yeah, slide that too. As long as it's two consenting adults and no children, whatever you do in your bedroom, that's you. That's that's you, buddy. That's you. Um, CNN is doing his best. Paint Kyle in a good light. A total reversal. Hold on, let me turn the. Hold on, what's going on on the scanner right now? Good. How confident are they? Was a Dodger or Chevy in the plate? Are they still looking for the Rick? Is that someone screaming in the background? That was a weird broadcast. I think they're still looking for the uh, the reckless vehicle. All right, lots going on in Kenosha tonight. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so what's CNN saying in this? Kyle one? Rittenhouse fires his gun several times. We learned also in the trial that he was hit four times and obviously this is a, uh, a AR style rifle that has the capability of firing very quickly um, but we have also learned that in this case we saw one of the, the only person who was shot uh, and did not die that night from Kyle Rittenhouse's um, gun we know and that. we heard from Gage Grosskreutz and that this was a pivotal moment in the trial hearing from the one defendant who was shot but survived Kyle Rittenhouse shooting at him and he said uh, that when asked whether or not Kyle Rittenhouse shot at him when his hands were up, he said no. And then he was asked by the defense, did, Kyle, did, did you point your gun at Kyle Rittenhouse? And then he shot you, and he said correct. That was a big moment for the jury for sure, because that could be self-defense, and that indeed is what the jury decided. Uh, when you go through each one, um, Anthony Huber, who was who was also shot before Rosecroix, he had a skateboard, and he uh, attempted, and you can see on the video, uh, hitting Kyle Rittenhouse. Now, the prosecution has maintained that they said that the people that chased after Kyle Rittenhouse after he killed Joseph Rosenbaum were simply doing so because they thought they had a mass shooter on their hands and were trying to stop him. But the jury clearly thought that in this case, after Kyle Rittenhouse tripped and fell uh, and turned his gun and people started coming at him, that he was only defending his own life or from great bodily harm. And that is what they have decided. Uh, of course, this case has a lot of tension. It is not just what is going on inside of that court. This has been a political football, if you will. It has been uh, the right has looked at Kyle Rittenhouse this whole time as a hero. The left often or the far left has looked at Kyle Rittenhouse uh, as as a devil. Um, and it has just gone back and forth. If you look at any uh, anything online, you will see Tentacles. for and against. And it is pretty clear that people are sticking to their sides, but they were not in this court. And many folks did not watch this trial. We did. We were in court uh, watching every second of it. And the jury looked at all of the evidence. We know they looked at it hard because this is the fourth day of deliberations. They have delivered liberated more than 24 hours over the past four days and so they looked at everything they re-watched the video i've never heard anyone say that a, a a case has a lot of tentacles and i, I get her I, I get what she's saying it's a decent analogy but like I can't, this case has a lot of tentacles i've never i've never heard that before <laughs> oh let me read some of these super chats i feel bad again oh no uh <laughs> whacker thanks motorcycle zero show thanks for the 30 a's huge fan from melbourne australia good to see that your second amendment is being upheld wish something like that would happen here yeah australia has been off the, off the chain lately especially with the covid restrictions and stuff here's some money for robux for john thanks chris isaac i appreciate you man uh rando thank avi control and most is larping fix that jet uh thank, thank you for your cervix hey if, if you ever served in the military police first respond or anything like that Thank you for your cervix. I really appreciate you guys. Kenosha has daily PD pursuits. No biggie. I didn't know that. If you guys want to see a wild... So, you know, like, uh, uh, um, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, a lot of police departments, this is where I get my raw footage from, uh, they have their own YouTube channels where they upload that raw footage so the, the public can be more informed on what happens when they have shootings, chases, big incidents like that. The Houston, Texas Police Department 
YouTube channel. I was thinking about making a whole video just on that. They upload frequently and they have some wild shit going on there. The Houston, Houston, Texas Police Department official YouTube channel. It's fucking wild, man. It's pretty wild. Hold on. Pets? Animals? Animal cam? Nope, none, none, none. Damn it. Um, oh God. Crack a cold one for Kyle. Don, are you coming to the Gage Gross, Gross Grips annual arm wrestling turn? <laughs> QD, thank you, man. Thank you for the 50 bucks. I appreciate you. This is a PR. You think this is a PR stunt? Oh, man. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> The whole thing started because he put a he put out a dumpster fire. Then he took out two convicted. Yeah, we talked about that first. I made a video about that a year ago. I was like, look, he's putting out the dumpster fire. We we watched the video at the first stream. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I um, Brandon. First of all, watch Brandon Herrera's video where he. I'm not going to do a video on the case because Brandon did such a fucking good job on his video. He did an excellent job on his video. Uh, where he just talks about where the case was up to five days ago but he's currently making another video right now and then i did a video um i did a video uh, last august kyle rittenhouse shooting breakdown or uh this one kyle rittenhouse update 7.4 million views on there where i talked about all this stuff uh, a year ago we watched that at the first stream but we're just going over the trending stuff on on twitter right now Oh man. Oh, I was reading the uh, super chats again. Mine. Score one for the good guys. Thank you, Russ. Thank you, Russ. Yeah, right. It's a huge, huge, huge score for the Second Amendment and self defense. Oh man. She's only she's the only good reporter on CNN. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Oh, I don't I don't know who that is. I don't watch the news. I haven't had cable in twelve years. Do you, uh, do you condone your friends making demo swear? <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. I hate that I missed it, man. I hate that I missed our podcast. If you guys haven't seen it, the unsubscribe podcast, we got Demolition Ranch to swear on it. I didn't. I was in Salt Lake, but I really hope none of the protests mess up your flight to Texas tonight. I don't see. I see protests, but I'm not seeing any riots. I thought that's what was going to happen tonight. First stream, Robert. I right, man. Love you, man. Robert Neese. Shout out to you, bud. Five euros? Having a drink back to the UK style, one chaser followed by four shots. <laughs> That's the you. <laughs> oh, oh, I get. Oh, I get what you're saying now. Having a drink back in the UK, Kyle style, one chaser followed by four shots. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh no. Uh, QD, thank you again. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Keep up the good work, Donut. Thank you, Lightning McQueen from Houston can confirm shit's wild here. It is wild there. Mari, thank you. Good thing Kyle has the USCCA. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Sounds like a great time to start up a saltwater fish tank. <laughs> can you give a shout out to the incredibly brave jurors who delivered the correct verdict and despite of consequences? Did you guys see yesterday where they were saying, um, there were two, there was a hung jury there for a little bit. There were two jurors that didn't want to, that they were scared of backlash. And like, I, I think it, the the tweet that I saw, I don't know if this is confirmed that the federal marshals came out and they're like, yeah, they're like these there's two jurors that don't want to say anything because they're scared of public backlash. Was, what a crazy trial. What a crazy trial. Is this elevator music? It's lo-fi. It's lo-fi hip hop. So yeah, it's kind of like, kind of like that. Oh, Bill in Chicago is planning to protest the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict tomorrow. Stop white supremacy. It's definitely white supremacy when a white guy shoots three white guys. So there was so much supremacy there. Donuts make me go nuts. Oh, Andy Long. I saw that. Why do you even use Twitter? It's a hellhole. I... You know what? It used to bother me looking at Twitter, but now it's fun just to get on there and not necessarily troll, but to share my opinion. Racist? Oh, did you guys did you guys tell Zay that I'm a racist? Did you tell him that? Don't tell him that. Okay, don't tell Mr. Coconut Operator that. 
Josh, thanks for 20 bucks, man. Um, think about this. Oh, it's David Clark. After this nightmarish ordeal, tomorrow, Kyle Rittenhouse wakes up for the first time, or for the first full day as a free man after a long time. What a feeling that has to be better, uh, or that has to be after the hell he's been unjustly put through. Enjoy the relief. I don't know. Uh, Breaking Tucker Carlson is making a Kyle Rittenhouse documentary and has been filming this entire time behind the scenes. I am very much, very much looking forward to seeing that. Um, let's see. We got a, oh, look, we got a couple of blue check marky people here. <laughs> you guys have no idea how many blue check marky people blocked me today from what I was saying. Oh, man. Uh, Liam O'Brien, I have no idea who that is. Got a blue checky mark. No justice. Amy Caro, blue checky mark. Burn it all down. <laughs> Fuck self-defense. Am I right, guys? Am I right? <laughs> God. Oh, Kyle Rittenhouse did everything a young man should do. Mike Cernovich right here. I don't have any patience for attacks on Kyle Rittenhouse or victim blaming. Shouldn't have been there. Shut up. Uh, Kyle Rittenhouse did more to stop the rioting than any elected official in America. Partially true. <laughs> Burn, loot, murder. There hasn't been... We haven't seen any riots, though. There are some protesting going on in places, but they're being calm about it, which is their absolute right. Will he get his money back? I feel like he's going to get his money back, plus some. Um... Ba -ba -ba. Oh, wow. Chris Clemens, another blue checky mark guy, a comedian with 300,000 followers. I try not to publicly wish ill on anyone, but I hope for the rest of his pathetic shitty life that Kyle Rittenhouse is harassed, heckled, and berated whenever in public. What an absolute piece of fragile, toxic, and privileged white shit. Thank you. Thank you, comedian Chris. Thank you for your input on that. The blue checky marks are coming out tonight. Oh, I've just been I've been reading these all day and it's been such a roller coaster. Um let's see, Trump came out and said something. And you know, I don't get political and I usually don't talk about political stuff, but we're while we're on the subject of Kyle Rittenhouse. Congratulations to Kyle Rittenhouse for being found innocent of all charges. It's called being found not guilty. And by the way, if that's not self defense, nothing is. <laughs> What's the King Center? I don't even know. What oh, Martin Luther King. Oh, that King, the King Center. Okay. Um, what's their statement? What's the King Center statement? My heart goes out to the families of Joseph Rosen. <laughs> oh, Jesus! And Anthony Huber, who are left to grieve in their painful loss. The not guilty verdict in the Rittenhouse trial reminds us that gun violence and vigilantism often laced with race, often laced with racism, and pardoned when the vigilante is white are alive and devastating our country. Both the Rittenhouse and uh, Meg Mikhail, Bryan, Ahmed Arbery trials highlight the inequity and injustice within the United States justice system and our moral obligation to transform it. It is also necessary that we remember why people <laughs> were protesting in Kenosha, the tragic police shooting of Jacob Blake. Can we all just be kind of kind of honest with the whole protest? I, I just, I, I don't feel that like uh, the people that he shot were there to, to protest. All violent felons. Uh, <clears throat> it, it's weird because in um in Portland, uh you know they they've had constant rioting for a year over a year now, and every single time they arrest somebody, it's been proven, majority of the time, ninety nine percent of the time, it's been proven that they were violent felons. It's weird that violent felons come out to cause chaos, and that sometimes the chaos comes back to them in the form of an AR. Uh, if you think CNN went nuts today, wait until Tucker Carlson has Kyle Rittenhouse on next week. I don't know if that's confirmed, but that, oh man, I'm just, what's the next week going to look like? What is the next week going to look like? Uh, animal. Oh, Jeeves ass. Jeeves, come here. Let's, let's, Jeeves is wanting love. He keeps coming in here. Come here, my guy. Come here. Come here. Jeeves says, hello. Oh, I love you too. I love you too. 
I love you, Mr. GDs. I'm the guy. All right, hold on. That is working. That is working. Oh, he's a good Jeeves. He's a good Jeeves. I know. I know. Um, b -b 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 protesters should be carrying AR-15 so they can also defend themselves from people like Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> Watch how quick the gun laws would change. Doggo. All right, let me get... Hold on, Super Chats again. You guys are being super fucking generous tonight. Thank you so much, man. I gotta stream on here more. We gotta, we gotta do more stuff like this. I I remember, like, a couple years ago, I would do the... the I would live stream the... um. Uh, like when there was a police chase, I would jump on and be like, oh, there's a police chase going on right now. Almost got banned off of Twitch because the dude got smoked in LA live while I was on Twitch. But a, a, a palm tree saved my entire Twitch career. Because we were watching this live, this live police chase. This was in 2000, this is like 2018, 2017. And they're chasing the guy for like an hour and we're like commentating on it. We're all like making jokes and stuff. And the guy finally stops and he gets out with a gun and points it. And at that time, a news helicopter came around the, the news helicopter we were watching the whole time, but the camera panned around and there happened to be a palm tree right in in view of where the guy was shooting at police right when he got smoked. And so that palm tree saved my entire Twitch career because you can't show that on Twitch. That was, you, you remember that stream, Metroid? Oh my God. That, that man almost ended my entire career. <laughs> uh, why? Thank you, man. You bet, brother. Thank you. The Motorcycle Zero Show. Thank you again, man. Um, let's see. QD, thank you. I'm try sorry, I'm trying to catch up on this, man. Blue checkies don't understand their own privilege while calling out privilege. Huh. I got a blue checkie. Do you guys know I got a blue checkie on Twitter finally? It took me six years. Um, Cody, Cody Bryant, thank you, man. Michael, DeAndre. Uh, did you see the NBA's, NBA's social justice coalition posted that people have the right to protest peacefully and that any forms of, of, of vigilantism are unaccepted. This was written in response to Kyle's verdict. No, I didn't see that. Uh, David, thanks for the 10 bucks, man. Appreciate you. Uh, okay. Oh, we can go down this, this hole. We'll go down this hole for a minute. Um, so I got suspended, uh, Vant, Vince, Vince, um, I don't know who that is. I, I got suspended last summer on Twitter for saying Kyle Rittenhouse was innocent. Is Twitter going to suspend everyone on Twitter calling Kyle a murderer tonight? No. No, they they won't. They won't. Supreme Leader says, congrats, Cody. Thank you, Supreme Leader. Uh, if, if you're just jumping on or, or you haven't been here for a minute, we're, I'm just going down what's trending on Twitter and reading it a little bit. We're just going over some of this case. Uh, Grace Randolph, uh, clearly people defending Kyle Rittenhouse are confident that no one who disagrees with them will ever have a gun. Not guilty sets a precedent for killing protesters, which is often the only recourse disadvantaged groups have. As a woman and compassionate person, that's terrifying. So, <laughs> I, there's so many, there's so many tweets today saying like, Oh, this obviously gives people free reign to go out and kill protesters, which is, that's not what was happening. That was an absolute, that was a riot. That was a riot. Hold on a second. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. I was just, uh, sorry. That was the gate guy getting, uh, bringing my, my nephew's chicken. Don't tell him I'm a racist, okay? Don't tell him. Um, kids are the antithesis of Kyle Rittenhouse. Many of your children are. That's where we draw encouragement today. The adults celebrating today are raising angry children who despise diversity and love violence as much as they do. So I feel like that's a personal attack. I know, you know, it's not aimed at me. It's like the adults who are celebrating today are raising angry children who despise diversity and love violence as much as they do. My son has been handling ARs since he was seven years old. There is not an angry or violent bone in his entire body. He is the kindest, most gentle little young man I've ever met in my life, and I've raised him to be that way. So, uh, John Pavlitz, go fuck yourself with that. You know what? You know what? You know what? I I did with my son from an early age. I got him into jujitsu, mixed martial arts. 
to teach him humility and 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 you know just to just to be a fucking good kid and i've had him handling guns all of his life and he is not he is definitely not someone who despises diversity and loves violence i <laughs> despise diversity on, on that topic don't don't tell zay that i'm a racist okay don't tell him that if you guys could do that <laughs> oh man uh, I just went to John's first wrestling tournament this week, this uh, this previous weekend, and it was it was amazing, man. Breaking: Kyle Rittenhouse in, in route to Mar-a-Lago to meet with President Trump to discuss the possible reinstitution of slavery. Oh man, Medi, uh, let's see, Medi Hassan, Democrats. Hey everybody, we passed an infrastructure bill with Republican supporters. Would you? Maybe possibly consider voting for us next year. Republicans, Democrats, or communists, and Kyle Rittenhouse is a national hero. Uh, Kyle Rittenhouse is a free man because he did nothing wrong. He defended himself. I'm not going to call him a hero, but he certainly was defending himself. Oh. I'm trying not to get too much in the left right talk. Someone please inform Sharpton that Kyle Rittenhouse didn't shoot a black person. So his comment, these are dark days for our black people killed at the hands of people that believe our lives do not matter. Did Al Sharpton say that? Does Al Sharpton say any killed a black person? I haven't, I haven't even read that part. Breaking. Tucker Carlson be working Kyle Rittenhouse documentary. They'll be released in December. I am looking forward to that documentary. Bum, 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 bum. It's, it's not a matter of the glorification of Kyle Rittenhouse will expire the next shooting of unarmed protesters by an armed vigilante. It's a matter of when. Okay, so because of the Rittenhouse verdict, um, a lot of people on Twitter believe that it's just free reign on protesters to go shoot them. Am I banned on Twitch? No, I'm not. I just, I just, usually when big stuff like this happens, I like to jump on YouTube because I don't stream on here very much often anymore. Just talk about it. Go over it. Have a calm and rational discourse with with you awesome people. Because I, I think I have one of the best communities on YouTube. Not the best, maybe. I don't know. I think I have one of the best communities on YouTube because I built my YouTube off of being rational and looking at the facts of anything I look at, trying to be as unbiased as possible and going off of those facts. And, and I've called out bad police officers. I've called out bad cases. I mean, you guys probably saw my video a couple months ago where I got really burned out. And I called that... I called that I called that police officer. I said, are you the R word? And a lot of people had a problem with that. And I was a little brash, but uh, I don't know. I think I, I, I just spoke truly. I, I don't know. I just, want to fucking, I just want to be honest with you guys. That officer was kind of an R word. Uh, Kyle Rittenhouse being found not guilty does not mean he's innocent. No, that's exactly what that means. If you're found not guilty of something, then you're, you're innocent. <laughs> Being rational is illegal, right? Hey, thanks for becoming a member, dog, uh, dog, 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 warhawk. Thank you, buddy. GL, thanks for becoming a member. Uh, caveman, thank you. <laughs> Kenosha cleaner, Jesus. Tim Brokers for you and your little buddy. Also, whatever happened to the BRCC hatchet thingy you never showed on stream? I still got that hatchet. That thing's awesome. I ran out of space to write this, but it seems that they are still trying to start drama between people instead of trying to unite the country. By the way, I love your videos. Thank you for everything you do. I just, there, and it, it, and it goes on to like what, what I was just saying earlier is, is on my channel. I just try to look at the facts and I try to figure it out. If you look at the videos, like I said last year, I'm pretty, pretty goddamn sure. <laughs> last year I said I'm pretty sure it's, it's self-defense, which was, it was absolutely self-defense, man. Have you tried the new battlefield yet? Says Satan the Devil. Thank Satan. Thank you for being here, by the way. Um, the new battlefield, I think, is kind of trash. I don't know why they have grappling hooks. Uh, that I I uh, I played the beta and I was getting in some of the weirdest spots and just getting headshots on everyone. I wish they didn't have grappling hooks in it. Kyle is innocent. Thank you, Thrax. Appreciate you. Thank you for becoming a member, Mark. Thank you for becoming a member, Jonathan. Thank you for becoming a member, Robert. Words. Did he kill? Yes, but not intentionally. Everyone knows you shoot center mass to stop a threat. So I was talking to Brandon today. I didn't know this. Um, uh, as per Brandon was telling me this, as per the coroner, Rosenbaum, the first person that he shot, he got him in the he got him in the forehead. But the shot that killed him 
was a uh, shot to the pelvic bowl, the groin area. I didn't know that. Uh, GL, thanks for 20 bucks, man. Going to order this at the bar. Hope I don't get beat up. Drinking to a Rittenhouse with one chaser and four shots. You guys keep making that joke. Jeez. Michael, thanks for the bucks, man. Don't tell Zay I'm racist twice. Funny as heck. You deserve it. Michael, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate all you guys. Best community in the world. One of the best communities in the world. <laughs> Maury, thank you, man. Brandon's got a pretty good community, too. Uh, I swear, are these blue checky people in their own little fairy tale land? They, uh, yes. Yes. Politicians can't, won't fix the issues they have vested interest in keeping the divide to stay in power. Yeah, I mean, you, you can tell that it's, it's, there's a big divide. Uh, the justice system did what it was designed to do, protect people like Kyle Rittenhouse. If we're ever going to tackle racial injustice in America, we have to admit our justice system isn't working for black, brown, and indigenous people, but we also have to transform it. You're a congresswoman, aren't you? Yep, congresswoman. I, I fucking knew it, dude. All the comments like that are coming from people who were elected into some of the highest offices in government. Remove the judge who deliberately botched Kyle Rittenhouse trial? Did you see how many times Little Dinger fucking violated his constitutional rights during that trial? I'm so surprised it wasn't a mistrial. Look what the AOC said. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Hold on. Any animals? Any animals? No animals. Hold on. What did AOC say? What did the AOC say? What'd you say? I don't like to get political, but I'm super interested because this is a criminal case. And as you guys know, I love criminal law. Um, uh, they want Kyle Rittenhouse to be their intern. Yes, there are some. There are some people in Congress saying they want Kyle to be their intern. Mm -hmm. So what is sorry. What we were witnessing is a system functioning as designed to protecting those it was designed for. My heart still breaks for the communities and the families whose grief now compounds and the countless others who will be denied and deprived in similar scenes across the country. Okay, let's go back to trending. Oh man, I'm trying to figure out how framing an innocent Kyle Rittenhouse will somehow ameliorate the racist actions of a state entirely controlled by Democrats. Because the Legal Aid Society said the Rittenhouse case is a devastating reminder of the power and privilege that comes with whiteness. <laughs> black, black and Latinx people, including many of the New Yorkers we represent, far, far, far worse for accusing of far less severity and are treated with such humility. Trump's going to be on Ingraham Angle tonight discussing the case. Oh, the chosen one. 10 little known facts about the modern day legend Kyle Reynolds. The Babylon Bee has been putting out some very, very funny things lately. One of those people who thinks Kyle Rittenhouse killed three black men. You need to find a new source of news, as everyone should. Kyle Rittenhouse interview with Tucker Carlson is going to be on Monday. That's going to be interesting. I, you guys want to watch that together? You want to do another live YouTube stream and watch that interview? I would be very interested in seeing that with you guys. Um, hold on, super chat real quick. Rook and save, thanks for the five bucks. Danger, thank you for the five bucks. Uh, thank you, DS Glow, Mike, thank you. You're cool too. Eric the Red, thank you. Gonna drink some Knob Creek whiskey tonight. Nice. Uh, yeah. Jeffrey, thank you, man. Oh man, prosecutor kept going for his did you order a Coke Red moment? Oh my god, the prosecutor, some of the questions he was asking too, little dinger. The Call of Duty question is like, you play Call of Duty? Yeah, and, and then the, oh God, his, uh, what was it? His, uh, one of his handles online was four doors, more whores. So what, what does that have to do in a self-defense slash murder case? It's like, you're going to, you're going to bring up that he had a silly, uh, a silly handle. Didn't we all have stupid, stupid, silly handles when we were in high school? It's like four doors, more whores as a handle means you were just trying to murder people. Like, how do you, why would a prosecutor even try to make that connection? And then, and then, yeah, the Call of Duty question too. It's like, you play Call of Duty, yes. As well as like a billion fucking people in the world. That means they definitely want to just kill protesters. That prosecutor is absolutely ridiculous. All right, hold on. We got a checky mark boy right here. Award-winning writer and artist with 226,000 followers. My prediction is Kyle Rittenhouse is a piece of shit. He will get in some legal trouble with violence again. The judge won't be this biased fuck. 
and Kyle will go away for a long time like he should have today. That's all. This guy obviously didn't watch the videos or see any of the trial. Oh, my God. <laughs> Every racist asshole with a gun is rooting for Kyle Rittenhouse. Well, I actually have dozens of guns. And I am not racist. Don't don't tell Zay. But yes, I, I was rooting for Kyle to, to win that. Okay, there's an tweet. Yes. Yes, hold on. Here's another checky marky boy. Oh, the Bishop Talbert Swan. <laughs> hey, Rick Meister, thank you, man. I don't care what any of these talking heads are saying on TV. Yes, the hell Kyle Rittenhouse was a case about race. I am still, I, am, am, am I stupid? <laughs> I, if a white guy shoots three white people who were setting things on fire and rioting, not that that's a reason to shoot someone, but I, I, am, I still don't see the race thing in this. I, I do not. Oh, man. Protests are starting in New York. Uh, no way a black teenager, teenager would have lived. Cops would have shot him dead. Have you guys ever seen that um, that whole list I brought up on... Uh, it's on Twitter. It's saved. I keep it... I think I keep it under bookmarks. Hold on just a second. I want to show you guys something real quick. Every time someone brings up the article... Or the... Uh, every time someone brings up the thing about, like, they would have been shot if they were, if they were black, and I... I went through and I found several cases, several cases where a black person shot and killed multiple police officers and they captured them alive. It's like, it's not about race. It's about the individual incident at hand. I'm trying to find it right now. Where the hell is it? Ah, where'd I put it? I might have to look it up on my cell phone because I don't know. I don't, I don't do good with desktop Twitter stuff. Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking for it. Hold on. Hold on. Shit. I'm gonna have to find it. I'm gonna have to find it. It's it's, it's not always about race. Hmm. Moments. Oh, it's under my moments. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. I found it. So I, I created this thread a while back. Oh, my big fat head is in the way. And it was they would have shot him if he was black. And like we went over. So much stuff. Uh, Willie Godbolt killed a... Oh, look. The tweet was deleted by its author. Do you know who the author was? I'm pretty sure it was uh, Tariq. Tariq Nishad. I'm pretty sure it was him. Willie Godbolt killed eight people, including a sheriff's deputy, and was captured alive. Mass shooter. Everett Miller ambushed two officers, killing them, taking, taken alive. Timmy Earl Kenner stabbed nine people at a toddler's birthday party, party including a three-year-old birthday girl who died, captured alive. Quentin Smith killed two officers, captured alive. Isaiah J. Martin shot two cops, taken alive. Brandon Bradley shot a female officer point blank in the head, killing her, taken alive. Corey Ali Muhammad shot and killed three people, specifically targeting white people, taken alive. Quincy Smith gunned down a black officer in cold blood, taken alive. Jamel Crockham shot an officer in the head at point blank range, taken alive. And like, we, it just it keep it keeps going. And it's like, you can't, it's not, it's not a race thing. It's not a race thing. Um, yeah, the Andrew Coffee raid that we were, we were talking about earlier. I actually, I commented on that earlier. Uh, this guy, this, this case ended today. If you didn't see it, um, Andrew Coffee, he, he got into a shootout with police on a, during a police raid and he was found not guilty of attempted murder today. Five out of his, he's found not guilty on five charges. Five out of six. I don't think he should have had a gun. I think that was the charge that he actually caught. So, yeah. Ooh, hold on. Alert tone. Alert tone. Firefighter call. Okay. I thought I heard the alert tone. I was like, huh? Huh? Adrenaline? <laughs> Um, Ray, thank you, man. 
I'm actually gonna do a breakdown using the footage and saw Leo videos. Um, I did a breakdown of, of the whole Rittenhouse um, incident last year, last August. You can find that on my YouTube channel. As far as the case goes, I probably won't be doing a breakdown of it because Brandon Herrera did such an excellent job. He did it the exact way I would have done it. It was probably funnier than me. Definitely funnier than me. Um, uh, uh, Vizzle Sh Shift says, I am a dim, have weapons, the verdict was right. I am glad politics didn't influence the outcome of the trial. Me too. Uh, Mr. Liar, thank you for the 20 bucks, man. Kyle showed more control under pressure than I could only hope for. Hit only what he intended to and got away safe. Only morons want to make it about race. Love the channel. Um, <clears throat> shut up. Uh, the white supremacy signs. Uh, I haven't read much into that. I saw some of the pictures, but I don't know. I don't know much about that. I'm going to, I'll, I'll, I'll further research that. It's, it's, I'm going to do my due diligence and try and try and research that more. No, you're going to ask people going forward. Well, this is how just, are you ignorant on the details of what happened or are you stupid? Says target. Yeah, man. Thank you. Oh man. Oh yeah. People are talking about Kyle. Uh, they're comparing him to Nick Sandman, which you remember was the, the, where the native American guy was yelling in his face and he just stood there and CNN made up all this shit and CNN ended up paying him out $250 million. So I wonder what, I wonder if, and if it happens, what Kyle's going to get for all, if he does pursue it, the defamation and libel, you know, lawsuits against the news media for the past year. Why am I not on Twitch? Uh, when we do crime stuff, usually I, I like to jump on YouTube. I do a couple YouTube streams a year. Hey, thank you, Feels Bad. I appreciate the shit out of you, man. Oh, man. Uh, they're comparing Kyle to the runaway slave patrol, even though he shot white people. <laughs> Black Lives Matter official. One million followers tweeted out the little racist slash terrorist Kyle Rittenhouse represents the exact kind of white supremacist vigilante violence that we've seen before with the acquittal of George Zimmerman and the murder of Trayvon Martin. You can't, you can't fucking compare Kyle to that case. Oh man, Chauncey DeVigo. Everyone, uh, it's pretty much like, oh, that's what you were talking about right there. White power symbol. We've talked about that before. Hey, Pete, thank you, man. I uh, love the videos. Keep it up, man. I don't know the context of this. I know it was at a bar. I think I read about that. Kyle's half Hispanic. <laughs> oh, man. That interview on uh, Monday with Tucker. I, I really look forward to that. I'll, I'll live stream it so we can watch it. 4chan meme. Peace bar. Let's go, Brandon. Reading some of the chat. Hey, thank you guys so much for the super chance. Love the videos. Thank you. Feels bad. Pete, again, thank you. Um, two gender brunette. Well, we've talked about we talked about like a symbol like that because people are. I did I did a couple videos on it because like a whole police department, not a whole police department, but a whole team on a police department got suspended because they were doing that. Like, hey, gotcha. So I don't know the context behind that. It's Kyle just <laughs> I don't. I know the shooting didn't have anything to do with white supremacy. Any news on protests? Uh, we know that Chicago is protesting right now, but they're being really cool about it. They're doing as any protester should do and not burning shit down. He's doing that to mock the media. That's what I was thinking too, man. Cause uh, it's like the, ah oh shit. What did, what was, oh fuck, I've done several videos on it. What was it that, 4chan made up and it was that right the white supremacy symbol 4chan made it up as a joke to see if the media ran with it and they did uh where the Kyle Rittenhouse had nothing to do with George Floyd wait what M massive crowd of oh here we go here's something Brooklyn uh massive crowd of Black Lives Matter activists take to the streets of Brooklyn New York in response to the Kyle Rittenhouse case and chant say his name George Floyd I don't I don't know the connection 
I don't I don't know the connection between those two cases at, at all. All right, Terrence, what are you posting, bud? Guilty on all counts. I am not sure. I want this to be known up front. I am not surprised. Not guilty on all counts. I am not shocked. Yeah, is this right? I am not. Myself and every other person who has watched the Just Us system work and seen how it operates and how it coddles the nuts of murderous, raping little white boys and grown white men, we are not shocked at all. Who did he rape? Oh, wait, the first guy he killed raped five young boys. Oh, okay, so Kyle wasn't the, oh, wasn't the rapist. Okay, okay, so you're wrong already. If you're not, you're just now waking up to the knowledge that marginalized groups have had since the founding. So let me go ahead and tell you what's about to happen. He's going to do a press release followed by showing up on Sean Hannity or Tucker Carlson's show on Fox News sometime tonight, tomorrow, something. Matt Gates is going to offer him a job because, you know, we don't have enough fuck nuts in the... He raided... Uh, ra raided, jeez. He, he raped 11 boys? I saw that he was convi he was convicted for five, the, the Rosenbaum, but he raped 11. I see a lot of people saying that in chat. I didn't know that. And again, that doesn't go into the case, per se, from the, the perspective of the shootings, because, you know, of course, Kyle didn't know that at the time. But it, <laughs> don't cry over spilt pedophiles. The fucking Congress. Let's just bring a little murdering one there, too. Oh, ages 9 to 11. There were 11 charges on them. Okay, I thought you guys said 11 boys. 11 counts, 5 boys. Okay, 11 counts, 5 boys. The Proud Boys are going to just give him a Proud Boy jacket and a Proud Boy shirt. Because he put in work. He did something most of them couldn't possibly do, which is murder two people. He will be at gun shows, signing that picture of him with the AR-15 with that stupid ass hat turned backwards. He'll be signing those for about $25 a pop, taking pictures with his fans. You know what? Um, so my mom called me uh, when the trial had first started and she was like, I'm so she was like, I'm scared they're going to mention you and Brandon Herrera in the case. And I was like, oh, man, what if that happens? That would be crazy. There'll be a lot of hang ring because they were going like through his past and they were like, oh, you glorify police and you love police. And I was like, I'm sitting there watching the trial like. Oh, fuck. Are they going to mention my channel? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you know, uh, hand wringing from the, well, I could not possibly believe this happened crowd. Who are just now apparently waking up to what the Just Us system does. The same system would put an innocent man to death, but only give him life without the possibility of parole. Or, and, and allow murderous raping little white boys and what? murderous raping grown white men i don't know why he keeps saying raping kyle killed the rapist off scot free i'm gonna take my shoes off real quick and he will be the new face of vigilantism and heroism the patriotism the new face is kyle rittenhouse and if you protest for black lives, they'll shoot you. Oh, they'll run. Shut up. Oh my goodness. Quad me a river. This is insane. Oh my gosh. No leaky feet? There's a leaky feet. Do you wear shoes in the house? I have shoes on. Gosh. You guys don't wear shoes in your house sometimes? Is that is that a problem? <laughs> is that a thing? Let me read some more of these super chats real quick, man. Uh, Skyler says, prefer whiskey at the moment. I've actually become more of a vodka drinker, uh, more or clear, you know, clear, clear or liquor uh, drinker than whiskey. But like one of my all time favorite whiskeys, which is affordable, is Clyde Mays uh, Alabama style whiskey. It's got like a little hint of apple. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Skyler, again, thank you for that. Uh, Steve, does anything that happened prevent him from owning or getting a CCP? No, no, Kyle. I'm pretty sure, again, I'm not an attorney. Um, I'm pretty sure that he can still get a CCP because he was 
you know, he's not a felon, so he could, yeah, he could most definitely get one. Hurry, bigots. Thank you for the 10 California, Scott Evans. I'm going to play Project Zomboid multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, clean actually. Uh, K L E A N on Twitch, good friend of mine. He's wanting me to get on there and play with him. So I might play Project Zomboid on multiplayer. Uh, what's the next sovereign system? Bingo. Shit, we should do one of those soon. Uh, Becca, Becca Green, thank you for becoming a member. Silver, thank you for the $5. OJ was signing stuff for $500 a signature after his case. I didn't know that silver stacking insomniac. If you could only drink one type of beer for the rest of your life, what would it be? I haven't, I, I'm not normally a, I, I used to be, a, a, I, I used to like beer a lot. That was, that was my jam. I like IPA, double IPA, shit like that. And it just, it, I'm in my thirties and it fills me up too quick now. So I, I'll like sip on some white claws every once in a while, but for the most part, it's, it's clear liquor. Uh, shut up, LOL. With that twenty dollars super chat says, I find it funny how Rosenbaum was screaming, "Shoot me!" in word, and was a convicted rapist while also trying to fight a guy with a rifle. But white guy with a gun, bad. He shooty mix shoot innocent non-threatening people. It's this whole case is insane, man. I I feel like a lot of the people on Twitter who are saying stuff like old boy here was saying a minute ago, or just like they didn't watch the videos. Ah. Uh, QD, thank you again. Re salty army, re. Doctor, thank you, man. Doctor Epicness, thank you, dude, for the super chat. I just heard my sister say that Kyle was supposed to go to jail. Proof that the media is ruining young minds and trying to mold them into mindless, placated sheep. Kyle was never wrong. Period. This is crazy, man. Uh, Joy Reid is in a hotel room. Mel Who's Joy Reid? She she's a congresswoman, right? I just everyone saying all this. I was not at all extremely surprised. negative stuff. Uh, are Congress people? Um, we've talked about this. I mean, this is what we expected to happen, because I think we have to keep in mind. What's a CC? Uh, what's a CCP? Says Chad. A concealed carry permit. And when we're watching the criminal justice system at work, you don't need one of those in Texas. It was designed yeah, to do exactly what it did today. Gun laws helped to enhance the design to allow this verdict to happen today. This country was built on the idea of, of, that white men had a, a, a particular kind of freedom and a particular kind of citizenship that only they have. That gives, you know, from the slave catchers on the right to inflict violence um, in the name of protecting property. That's like the foundational creation of the United States. So it would have been shocking. The real, as I'm glad you mentioned the Derek Chauvin verdict, that was the surprising verdict. This should have been unsurprising. But what I do think we have to think about is not only the families of the two men who died and the family of Mr. Grosskreutz, they are, you know, they should be in our minds right now because they suffered. And there have been a lot of white people who have, you know, defended black lives and paid for it with their lives. That goes all throughout our history, going back to John Brown and go through the civil rights movement. But I, what I am concerned about is the precedent this sets for what people will believe that they can do under law when Black Lives Matter protests happen in the future, and that people may use this as an excuse to start going out of state and doing what this teenager did, does, believing that they'll get away with it, and in some cases, getting away with it. Does anyone, did any, did any, did, did fucking anyone on Twitter watch the case? Oh. Uh, the president of defending yourself, right? Uh, Binger and Lunchbox. <laughs> I love, I love the nicknames of the prosecutors. Binger, Little Binger and Lunchbox. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, best de defense attorneys in Kenosha County. Oh wait, that's not what DA means. We can agree as parents, Kyle sh shouldn't have been there that night, but the interactions at hand were totally self-defense. He shouldn't have been there. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have gone out that night. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have just even gotten himself into that. I respect him for being out there and like trying to put out fires and cleaning up graffiti and, and like trying to trying to be a good member of his community. But that was self-defense all day, all day self-defense. And on top of that, yeah, that was I mean, that was his right to be out there and he wasn't illegally carrying a rifle and he didn't cross state lines with a rifle. I just I wish people would just like fucking watch the videos and look at the look at all the facts and stuff, man. 
All I'm saying is it's like, if it was my son, if John was like, dad, I'm going to go take this rifle and go out to these riots. I'd be like, stay the fuck at home, dude. Don't do that. But that was self-defense all day long. Yes, dad lives in Kenosha. Four doors, more horrors. <laughs> oh, God. Now Kyle can sue, Bi can sue Biden for defamation. I am really, really looking forward to, to what the next year is going to look like as far as civil suits go in this whole thing. Because as we were talking about earlier, the one kid with the, the Native American guy screaming at him got $250 million from CNN. So like, is Kyle going to be able to like get a billion? <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's see what happens. Dun, dun. Oh, is Ben and Jerry's going off? Someone said, look at Ben and Jerry's post. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Ham marshy. Is it Ben and? Or did I have to... Ben and Jerry's. Okay. What is Ben and Jerry saying? Because they get super political. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that's yesterday. Yesterday. Change is brewing. Imagines a world where every community has what it needs to thrive. Um, um, oh, I don't see anything there. Did they have something that they don't? That they that they deleted? I don't see anything really controversial about their written house case specifically on that. Give his rifle back. I don't think was. I don't know if the rifle was. Was it his? It wasn't his because that's what everyone was complaining about. Or a lot of people were complaining about it on Twitter, but he was not illegally carrying the rifle because it's 17 as per Wisconsin law, you can open carry and it's not an SBR. So he had every right to. Mm -hmm. Oh, th this is, this is a spicy tweet. Judiciary committee chair representative Jerry Nadler, Nadler, is calling on the DOJ to review the Kyle Rittenhouse shooting for potential federal charges. Hmm. Oh, wow. Looks like uh, this person, uh, Cassandra Fairbanks, who is that? PETA kills animals. <laughs> Um, they had their post taken down in August of 2020 for saying Kyle Rittenhouse did nothing wrong. Lord have mercy. Twitter and Facebook are done. Let me read my super chat again, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, Debo, straight up, I was sent here to look at the comments from someone with a different point of view. I'm black and I'm just here. Uh, like y'all are just fine, man. Hey, don't you ever consider? Well, thank you. Hey, thank you for the super chat, Debo. Appreciate your Debo video. Uh, hey, Donut, would you ever consider reaching out to Kyle in the future and have him on the channel? Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Uh, Brandon has already mentioned that he wants to, like, have Kyle on gun meme review or something. I don't believe Kyle is going to sue. There's already going to be a nightmare in regards to the funds raised. Richard admits it during his interview. Okay. That's why I'm looking forward to that interview on Monday. It's going to clear a lot of stuff up. Rosenbaum. Oh, God. Jesus. Jeff, thank you for the super chat. He says, Rosenbaum was a good guy. Google Rosenbaum. Five kids to see. All right. Huge fan. Uh, John Q, thank you, man. And uh, John Q with the $10 super chat. Huge fan. I disagree with the verdict, but respect the jury process. I'm a lefty, but you can't call everything you dislike racist. I love that. I love that, man. I love I love that, I John, that you're here right now and we disagree on things, but we can still, we can still have a community and respect each other and talk to each other civilly. Thank you, John. Let's stop attacking each other over politics. They don't give a damn about us. Thank you, John. Thank you for your super chat, buddy. Dun, dun, dun. I disagree with John. I disagree with John a lot, but I appreciate you as a member of my community. I appreciate it. I fucking love having civil discourse with people who I don't agree with. 
I'll send you some beers and whiskey and wing sauce. Oh, dude, Chef Mike Oxbig. Mmm, I, I love me some wing sauce and whiskey. <laughs> From McClellan's Brewing Company. Thank you, Chef Mike Oxbig. It's a stupid, uh, Tyler with the super chat is a stupid comparison, but I'm going to make it always. He did this so he can, def he can't, he did this so he can't defend himself. It's some scarily similar energy to she was drunk underage and deserved to get. Huh? Huh? I haven't thought about that comparison. Roll that one around in your heads. Your friend. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Billy, thank you for the super chat, man. You lost your little brother at 21 last year to someone acting in self-defense. I still support Kyle all the way. Thank you, buddy. Not guilty. Clear case of self-defense. Thank you, John. Thank you for being a 30-month member there, Stone. Um, QD, thank you, man. Give the... <laughs> the RCC. Thank you, QD. You've been a fucking sweetheart tonight, my guy. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man. The court of public opinion will always deem Kyle Rittenhouse guilty and a murderer. I don't know. The court of public opinion is kind of... Thinking that I, I, do you think the majority of people are on his side? Hold on. I can make a poll. Let's create a poll. Whoa, I can create a poll. Hold on. I got to get my other keyboard. If you guys have never... Do you guys want to see my streaming setup real quick? I have two... I have two mices. I have two keyboards because I, I do a dual PC streaming setup. You guys want to see my streaming setup real quick? So if I like have to type in my chat, I have to go to this keyboard, but I have my keyboard in front of me for my gaming computer. I'll show you guys real quick. If you guys have never seen like my video, my streaming setup, anything like that. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Uh, Okay, so. <laughs> oh, we can use the animal camera. We'll use the animal camera. That'll make it easier. So. Hi, everyone. Donut here. So I have. Hold on just a second. Hi, you get to look at my big dumb face for a minute. We have. So I have two PCs, right? That's my gaming computer, the one on the right. The one on the left is my streaming computer. Yes, I have white. I am drinking White Claw. Thank you very much. That is my streaming computer from Zydax. So that one streams. That one plays games. I have these two monitors are the gaming PC, the one on the right. These three monitors, these two right here. And then this one, this one right here, those are for the streaming computer. And then, hi, big dumb face again. And then that's my background. I have a bunch of cool stuff back there. I have four YouTube plaques now. I don't have my fourth one up there right now. Oh, the K oh yeah, the cable management is horrendous. You know how hard it is to do a dual PC streaming setup? Horrendous. Horrendous. Um, but yeah, I just got a bunch of stuff back there. Some guns and then my donut neon neon donut sign. All my skateboards, because I own a skateboard shop in Fort Mill, South Carolina, 50 skate shop. And that's my setup. Shows your cats. Yeah, well, this is the pet cam. There's no, there's no cats in here right now. Show your feet. <laughs> oh man. Okay. The pin taped down. Oh no 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 no. So the thing the thing taped down right here. It's a, it's a cat toy. Here, look, look. So when my cats come up, you can see them play with it. Great pull. Oh, dope background. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Um, if you guys ever, ever want to catch me on Twitch, I try to stream on there at least once a week. And, uh, yeah. Twitch.tv slash donut operator. I think I'm going to jump off the stream. We did a lot tonight. I should do way more of these streams where we just hang out and look at Twitter and talk shit. So cat person or dog person? I have both. I have uh, two cats and a dog. 
Yeah. But I I wish I could raid people on YouTube because on Twitch you can throw your viewers over to people. I don't know. If you guys want to check out, hold on, who's who's on right? Let me see who's on right now. Maybe I can just tell you guys, hey, check out my buddy. But <clears throat> let's see. Mm. Oh man, none of the boys are on right now. Uh, this weekend though, just gonna tell you real quick. We're doing a, starting tomorrow, we're going to be doing a stream for the boot campaign, which is is an organization that helps out uh, veterans and their families. It's it's a really cool campaign. We raised almost $200,000 from last year. We're going to try to reach $250,000 for them. So I didn't do the poll. Oh, God. You want to see the poll? All right. Can we do it? I'll do a poll. I'll do a poll. I'll do a poll. Okay, hold on. Here we go. I'm doing a poll right now. Boom. Did the poll. Does that just like pop up on your screen? I've never done that before. I did the poll. It says, uh, was it self-defense? Let's see what happens. You guys see... Did you just click on it? Um, let's see. <laughs> it's already, uh, <laughs> it's 98% self-defense already. You were the first vote, Rex? Good job, my guy. Good job. 98%. Am I surprised with my fan base? I, I don't know. QD, thank you again, you stud. Holy crap. I don't know if the... I, I kind of see where the poll's going. We're at 98%. With... Well, I mean, without... You know, with 4,000 votes, we're at 98% self-defense. Huh. Richard Head... Thank you for the thank you for the super chat, man. Donated oh you donated you donated and I didn't read it. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Let me catch up with the super chat. Super super chats before I get off. Um Another case for attempted murder or assault. I took my lunch break to see this, so glad he won his case, but we'll we'll see a case for attempted murder or assault. I don't know. I don't I, I don't feel like anything's going to happen at a federal level at this point. Um, <laughs> QD. You silly Billy. Jerry, thanks for becoming a member. Four years later, first live video. Love everything you do. Um, cheers, and I hope you have less sweaty testicle season this year. Me too. I actually have a ball fan down here. Because, like, sitting here in a gaming chair for hours, you get some swamp ass. Uh, Jerry says, I'm a social worker, an EMT, not a cop. All this nonsense has turned community social work backwards. Yeah, I'm sure it has, man. Thank you for that, Jerry. Uh, Eric, thanks for the five bucks, man. Whiskey was great. You have an amazing night, Cody. I'm drinking some water now. Eric, thank you, man. Appreciate you. I'm um, trying to get through these super chats. Again, Richard Head, thank you so much. T. Andrews, thank you so much, man. Thank you for the super chat. Colin Simpson, love your videos. I love you. Follow my Instagram and do a shot. I don't have a shot of anything. Colin, thank you so much, man. Colin Simpson, thank you. Love you, Donuts, says Mark. Thank you till next time. The local Walgreens, better watch out. Yeah. You two removed the dislike button. Is it is it officially gone now? Have you guys heard about that? The dislike button on YouTube is gone now? Hi, everyone. Donut here. Shut up, you idiot. I can still see the dislike video. They, did they just leave it up on my YouTube channel? Because the dislike button's still there, and I can still I can still see how many dislikes I got on this. That's probably my most disliked video ever. 13,000. Lord, I it is. I still see. Is it are they just trying that with some people? Like, is it a trial run? All right, we're at 97% self defense on the poll with 6,000 votes. Uh, Kim, thank you for the 10 bucks. Nate, what's up, man? Nate, the truck driver, absolutely self defense. Trying to move me and my wife and kids to Texas. Got any good places to recommend? Take it easy. 
Uh, I think San Antonio is like one of the best places I've ever lived at. I think San Antonio is rad. Yeah, I can see the dislike button. Only for the creator? Oh, okay. Okay, let me... Oh, man, what the fuck? My chat just crashed. I can't see what you guys are saying now. Hold on just a second. What the fuck? I can't see what you guys are saying. My crash... My, my crash. My chat just crashed. What the fudge? Hold on, guys. I can't see chat anymore. What the heck? Hold on, guys. Chat just peaced out on me. Um, What the shit? I got it back up. That was weird. It said I don't have enough memory. I have like 64 gigabytes of memory in that computer. And I'm only streaming. That was weird. Um, Pete, thank you again. Feels bad. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Michael Triptal. Don't tell Zay I'm racist. Oh, wait. Oh, is it doing old ones? Oh, no. Huh. I know you guys can see me, but like a bunch of stuff just crashed. Streaming is a weird world. Anyways, guys. Uh, Yeah, yeah. That was a good stream. That was a really good stream. I'm going to jump off. Uh, Let's see who's on. Who's on? Who's on? Who's on? Who's on? I don't see any of the boys boys on. Um, check out, uh, oh, Wellen's on, Wellen's playing Battlefield 20, this is one of my good friends, Wellen, um, yeah, he's a, he's a really cool guy, check out Wellen, W-E-L-Y-N, he's the guy that makes all the rest content, he's playing Battlefield 2042 right now, so, uh, check him out. I can't rate him, obviously, because I'm on YouTube, but really good friend of mine. Awesome guy. Catch you guys later. I love you. Thank you. I'll do more YouTube streams. 3% are wrong. We still have 97% on the poll with, was it self-defense? 97% with 7,700 votes says, yes, it was self-defense. Um, uh, let me read some of these super chats. I feel bad not reading them. Uh, Back the Blue, my grandpa was California Highway Patrol, says Mike Vonk. He was a retired captain, and he passed away at 77 years old with Parkinson's disease. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I thank him for his service. Uh, 1776, donated by Courtney Young. Only just saw your streaming setup. Wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I'm paralyzed by too high of a standard, especially for tech quality. Need advice on how to get over the hangups and just go for it? You just need a decent computer if you're going to stream and game at the same time. Or if you do, like, stuff like this, like, just chatting, just talking. You don't need a crazy good computer. Um, my PC sponsor is Zydax. They make really good stuff, and they have a lifetime don't warranty. So Why is check. this all messing up? <laughs> He's like, don't it raid. Don't it's funny. Raid from YouTube. Ah, don't it raid from YouTube. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Donut's the man. But well in streaming, oh. check them out. <laughs> yeah, but um, Courtney, just you don't need a decent computer if you're not going to game and stream at the same time. Um, just go for it. I, I, I actually had a, I, I did Twitch before I even started my YouTube channel. I would stream like Minecraft and Rust and, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's, 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 I just went for it as a police officer and I had two viewers and then I had three viewers and then I had 10 viewers and got up to a hundred viewers and was like, oh, this is awesome. I can quit policing and yeah. What's my top 10 anime? Cowboy Bebop all day long. You can see by my, my desktop background right there. Um, uh, we're just going to finish it up here. Amen. God bless. Be doll. Uram, a hero. Kyle, simplify. Top 10 anime. Like I said, Cowboy Bebop and then Berserk is next after that. But if you guys want to dislike this stream, go ahead and dislike it. If I still have the dislike button, why do I have the dislike button? But they said they got rid of it. This is BS. All right, guys. Uh, I love you. I love you all. Thank you for the wonderful stream. Thank you for being one of the best communities in the entire world. Check out Brandon Herrera's video about uh, the the trial. He did a he did an amazing job of breaking down the trial up to a week ago. He's about to put out another video. Subscribe to to Brandon Herrera. Subscribe to me. You probably already are if you saw the notification. That's why you're here right now. And I uh, I love you guys. Thank you for the awesome stream. I'll be back on here with some bingo. Hopefully sometime this week. Uh, we're going to be doing the boot campaign stream uh, this weekend. We're hoping to raise $250,000 for veterans. 
I think uh, I think that's about it. Follow my second channel, Donut Vloggerator. Love you guys. Have a fantastic night as soon as I can find my mouse. Which mouse is it? There's two mice right here. And we're going to jump off. Love you.